What if it, but morally, does it have to make sense? It, depending on what, what it is. If it's talking about, you know what I'm saying? Like, if we're a vegan podcast. If, 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 if we're a podcast now and a vegan company hit us up, we're going to be per, per selling vegan stuff. No, 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 no. No, I'm not like, we're going to be selling stuff, but we're going to give them a shout out. But my point is, right, it's the audience is the most important thing that we have. So if we, let's, I'm just hypothetical, if we are a vegan brand, if we're, we vegan, we're not, not a vegan brand. But hold on. We, but if we were, yes. it doesn't make sense for us to advertise for steak. Of course, but we're not so a you can't, vegan. You can't give me. We're not a vegan brand. Give me something that's on topic with what we are that's different than what we are. Okay, if a brand that was based in New York came to us and was like, hey, we want to advertise our flagship store in New York, you can give me 10 mil, but the audiences are going to be happy because they're not in New York. Your brand's not going to be happy because our audience isn't based on New York. Mm -hmm. And so it doesn't make, the synergies aren't right. It, it don't make sense for them. Mm -hmm. I'm saying it, it makes sense for us. It doesn't make sense for them. How does it make sense for us? Because hey. if you're giving me 10 million. Because of the bag? Yeah, if you're giving, that's what I'm saying. If you're giving me the money, that's your job to make sure you're, you're uh, putting yourself mm -hmm. with the right, you know what I'm saying, people to get your stuff out there. Not us. Yeah, because the audience is just going to ignore it if it doesn't apply. To yeah, that's what I'm saying. The, the audience is going to push past it. That won't be our fault. That'll be their fault. So to his point, you would then, in fact... I'm going like, to just take your yeah, money. Yeah, just for the money. Like, you you don't necessarily care, like, what the... No, no, no. I is. do. But you have to... When you're, when you're marketing your budget for how to put it out there, you have to determine what is the best fit for you. Yeah. And when you determine we're the best fit, we're going to be the best fit. They should have done their due diligence. They'd be dumb to offer it. Uh, I don't care, so. <laughs> it's it's a they ain't taking it, no matter what it's a it's a it's a if if the money's right you, you don't, don't get too many so uh, have you ever thought about what's 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 after podcast what's what, after what's the next what's the next oh like whatever it is what's 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 next <sighs> I don't know, you know what I'm saying yeah nobody oh uh, so you better take as much as you can get right now because we don't know what the next situation gonna be yeah yeah yep. yeah, yeah. You know that is true that's right. so. I think that's a hustler's mindset, though, right? Because yeah, you, you better, that's, that's eat what, what you're on here for. Yeah, but if you're doing talking just for, just to be niggas is doing podcasts just to be talking. That's not it. Yeah, you better get all you can get because we don't know what's gonna be it, and that vibe might not fit your vibe. Like every, like everybody can't do podcasting. Niggas came to me talking about doing podcasts. I'm a gangster. Not taking away from niggas, but <clears throat> getting on here talking about hood shit and shootings and killings and. That ain't it. That's that's damn near a DP. That's damn near something I signed up for. I'm going ass backwards. Everybody don't want to talk. You know what I'm saying? Certain niggas got certain morals and shit that they can't. This this don't fit my vibe. That's why you don't see me do too many interviews with certain people because I ain't I ain't used to getting on. This like feel like I'm being integrated. Really? All these cameras. <laughs> I've been to penitentiary like over 15 times. This right here feel like. Nigga, you been integrated. You been watched. You been like this the feds. <laughs> like you know what I'm saying? Certain acts and certain questions. Not certain podcasts. Niggas that stick on topic and talk about what's really important in music and what a nigga doing positive. But all the beef shit and all that, keeping shit incited and all that shit. That shit whack to me. You know what I'm saying? I don't. I don't prove of that. I only. I be avoiding the questions. <clears throat> you know what I mean? That shit don't really. Yeah. Cause niggas really don't be on topic anyway about factual shit in the city. Yeah. I don't know too many niggas that can come and do podcasting and have factual shit about the city that I actually built myself. Like, you know what I'm saying? With a couple nah, more yeah. niggas. Yeah. So I don't be, the questions that, and, and the shit that be going on in podcasting and be going on with journalism and posting with, so I be like, that's not even facts. You wasn't even there to even know what was facts or not. Of course. I can give you the straight rundown, that's, but nobody wants to know the real. And then the real is like, a lot of niggas avoid the real because you wasn't on top from the beginning. Of course. Yeah. The truth, nobody really wants to know the truth. The truth sound like you hating. 100%. 100%. You know what I'm saying? It'd be a lot of podcast shit be going on, and I'd be like, my name don't be. I'd be like, how? Yeah. For the last 15, I ran this shit. I'm still running it. I'm still top five. How is, Ooh. you know what I'm saying, certain shit? Gosh. No, that'd be the questions yeah. for y'all, too, because yeah. I'd be seeing a certain post, and I'd be like, how don't y'all name me? Yeah. How? I've been running it for, if I didn't run it for... I ran it with the pen. So how is it not like my name is there? I've been here since YG, me, Mustard, mm -hmm. Ty Dolla Sign, what we created. 
You're right. You know what I'm saying? So, and I'm still here 13, 14 years later. Yeah. So how do you not say <laughs> Joe Moses for anything that you're saying when I'm one of the creators? You know what I'm saying? Oh, everybody came up under us. It, that, that's the movement. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So it'll be a lot of shit that I'll be saying personally, but I'm not a I'm not a bitter nigga. I just let that shit plat I, I just let that shit go because at the end of the day, telling the truth always seems like you hating. A hundred percent. It does. You know what I'm it, saying? It does. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> okay, quick, because I want to get into it. It's gonna be a good episode. Um, this is Scotty and Friends. I am Scotty. These are my friends, man. We got the squad here, Windows here, True's here. We got a very, very special guest. I know you like to do the intros. You want to intro it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? This, uh, you know what I'm saying? We got a very special guest. Uh, very, very, very big artist. Um, like you said earlier, he's been running these L.A. streets, especially the music scene, for a long time. Definitely. But for the people who do not know who you are. Yeah. Please explain to them who you are. Man, I'm one of the goats, you know what I'm saying? JM, you know what I'm saying? I created a lot of motion that's going on right now. You know what I'm saying? I created the sound, one of the inventors of the sound, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, it is what it is. I'm Joe Moses for people that don't know. And he's also a great businessman. Definitely. Yeah, definitely, definitely. definitely. <clears throat> My first question to you, um, and I'm just, you know, selfishly curious, like, how much, how, how long or how... Yeah, how long are you working per day? How many hours do you just spend just working? Probably like 17, 18, 19 hours. I don't get no sleep. That's just all how, facts. How much you sleeping? Like three, four hours a day. Really? So run down one of your days for us. Like, like day like today. Like today, gym. I went to the gym like 8.30. I stayed there to 12. I played like six games of basketball. Okay. After that, I went straight to an interview with Be Real at 1 o'clock. I had to be there. I got out the gym probably 12. I had to go home and get dressed. I got, I was supposed to be there at 1.30. I got there probably 1.36. Yep. Did my interview would be real to 1 to 4. Jeez. Damn. The interview didn't start to 2. But they streaming? They, they That's that streaming. Yeah, yeah so the interview cool. was, I got there at 1.36. It started at 2, 2 to 4. Yeah. I stayed there. I just left football practice. I drove to football practice. I went to go get something to eat. I drove to football practice. I stayed from football practice from... Shit, 5.30 all the way to 6.30. I drove over here. You know yeah, what I'm saying? that's after, a full day. And then I got studio after yeah. that. After this, I go straight from the studio, 8 to 8. Sheesh. With, with and that, I probably right, sleep in the real. studio okay. just a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Probably them last, it's from 8 to 8. I probably sleep from 8 to, I probably, you know. 8 uh, work p.m. From, to 8 a.m.? Yeah, I probably sleep Ooh. from like, I go to sleep at like 5. So about my, my manager or my boy, BZ, wake me up and be like, let's go. Yeah, what, what you saying? You going to the studio? How did you get into rap? Um, I'm gonna keep it honest with you. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm an athlete. So you know what I'm right. saying. So this ties into my story. I'm an athlete. Athlete first. Um, I only rap. I used to freestyle with my family and shit. Sizzle. Um, my cousin. Um, Sav and them. You know what I'm saying. They kind of made me who I am for as an artist. You know, different dealing with different producers. I didn't start doing music, taking it serious until football was over far as me going to jail from high school. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. I went to the penitentiary years later, and then I came home from the penitentiary, and I took rap serious. You know what I'm saying? I used to just rap, going to the studio, but I wasn't as dope as I am far as, you know what I'm saying? Like now, like creating, you know, what I've been doing for these last couple of years. But I used to just go to the studio and fuck around and while my niggas producing, my brother, uh, Jacasso, rest in peace, producing. And then I went to the penitentiary. I was really like, one of the niggas that you couldn't keep from the streets, you know what I'm saying? So I went yeah. to the penitentiary and then did like a faux piece and that was it. And I came home rapping. Now the whole time in jail, I battled every nigga. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about the niggas is dope in jail. I never lost a battle in jail. Any nigga that was in jail with you, I tell you, I never lost a battle in jail. You know what I'm saying? Even in the penitentiary, yeah. my first day in the penitentiary, mm -hmm. getting off of RTQ, that's like something they put you on for two weeks. Check your status. Make sure everything is all right with you. Make sure you're not a snitch. Make sure your paperwork is right. Make sure you can be on the yard. As soon as you get off, you stay on it for two weeks. As soon as you get off, nigga, I came out for, for yard, and nigga, the whole penitentiary was walking behind me, wanting me to battle a nigga from up north. Like, man, we heard about you in the county jail. Nigga, we want you to battle this nigga hard. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I come around. 
I have the pen popping. I ain't going to even lie to you. <laughs> yeah. I, come, I swear to God, I get off the phone. I call my moms to check on my family and my kids. As soon as I get off, my big homies, they take me around there. The whole yard walked around me, walked with me. You know what I'm saying? All the dumb moves walk with me. We walk to the yard. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah. And I battled the nigga and killed the nigga on the spot. Solid dad, penitentiary. Any, any nigga tell you that, though. Was that the time you like, all right, I'm going to take it serious now? Like, this yeah. is... I already knew I didn't have... No, I had two strikes. Yeah. Uh, I went, I went. you know what I'm saying? I, I had two strikes. It was over with for me. Yeah. What I'm going to do, I can't get no job, no regular job. Who's going to give a nigga with two strikes a job? I knew it was either going to be something, so I made the decision in jail. Like, when I get home, I'm going I'm to take this shit serious. Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I still have my youth, you know what I mean? So it was like, came home, had the proper opportunities, you know what I'm saying? But I worked for everything that I got. You know what I mean? But... That made me. That made me to understand that I came home rapping. Um, Wacko and Big Big Y gave me the first opportunity fresh out, you know what I'm saying, and put me in the studio with them, you know what I'm saying, shout out to 319. And after that, I was just dedicated to just doing music in the studio every night. I used to tell my homies, like, I'm not hanging out. I'm not coming to the section, even though I was. But I'm like, nigga, I'm focused on this music shit, so either y'all can rock with me or, you know, or not, you know what I'm saying? Do something else. So that was my dedication to the music. That's when I knew I was going to be a rapper. Sure. How long was that period of like, because <clears throat> I, even like as I get older, I'm starting to figure out that a couple things. When that's why I asked you first question, like, how long are you working yeah. per day? Yeah. And I realized, like, we'll sit and talk about these like million dollar dreams that we got. Yeah. Or even the homies. And I'm just like, man, like, we talk about making millions, but we ain't working more than eight hours a day. No. Nah. That, that's out. Yeah. And then on top of that, the second thing that you just said, which was like, you sacrifice. Like you stopped doing all that. And you yeah. stuck to the. Yeah. You know what I mean. So I had a big obligation in my section because I'm a I'm a known person. Like my family is known. I got relatives from the hood. So like I say, it's always gonna be that that energy that's going. Damn, little Joe ain't fucking with us no more. But it's never been that. It's just like I think I could take us to different heights. You know what I'm saying? So. You know, I always kept my reputation. I always pull up. I threw hood days. I did shit that I wasn't supposed to do. When I even when I was going to jail, sometimes throwing hood days and getting caught up and using other niggas' names and then getting out from that. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm, yeah. you know what I mean? But if I would have if I would have got caught up, that would have been another violation. Shit, I sacrificed a lot just keeping a lot of shit together. You know what I'm saying? And um, you know, you don't get too many people that talk about your sacrifices. You know what I'm saying? Like that. But for me, I know I sacrificed for the fifties. For sure, I put on, you know what I'm saying? I've been putting on, I didn't, it ain't one homie from my hood or one homie from from where I'm from, from Brim or a blood period that can't say they ain't never got a verse for me. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You know what I mean? That's, that's, that's something that I do just off the love. But sometimes I think that's the worst thing to do. Sometimes I think like niggas don't appreciate you until you, you're unreachable. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know I mean, so me showing so much love, how many of you niggas, how many niggas I know that really don't even fuck with me like that from all the love that I've been showing? You know what I'm saying? That showing love shit is really out. Like, it's really it's really for the weak. Like, you know what I'm saying? When you showing too much love, niggas think you weak. And that's just a black right. mentality. Nah, Damn. it is. You know what I'm saying? That's just a culture thing in our yeah. culture. Is it actually weak or do you think it's just our mindset? Nah, it's just our mindset. It's our mindset. I, I think showing love is important. I thought that's what I was supposed to do yeah. until the niggas I showed love to was always the ones that was disloyal. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Every person I didn't show love to in my life has always been disloyal. You know what I'm saying? It don't yeah. matter if nah, I it, 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 it don't yeah. matter if I gave you a fake Gucci shirt from out my closet and you wore it as soon as you got around some other people, you're like, this nigga gave me a fake Gucci shirt. Right. You know what I'm saying? Oh, so it's like, like, where was yeah. that when yeah. hey, hold yeah. up? Like, you know yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you <laughs> niggas just niggas is just opportunities, uh, opportunists. And at the end of the day, I didn't learn that until now. Like, you know what I'm saying? As much as I do, I get hate from all the love that I show. Like yeah. niggas, mm. niggas hate me for showing love. Niggas hate me for just being me. Niggas can't wait to an opportunity to shit on you. You know what I'm saying? Oh, for sure. Jeez. Yeah. So I'm, I'm, so I'm learning true. as the age I am now. It's like, okay, I really learned it. Like I really been through every episode in this music shit. You know what I'm saying? So it is what it is. She, how old are you now? Yeah, 38. So oh, what? Man, you... What's the best and worst thing about being in the music industry? This the money. Yeah. Everything else is nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> it's the money, you know what I'm saying? Just yeah. the money. The fame is cool, but nigga, I'm a gangster. So nigga, being at a restaurant with my kids and some niggas know me and I don't know them, that's the worst. 
Yeah. yeah, nah. Hey, man, that nigga right here with his jewelry on, with his kids, boom, 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 pull up, be waiting in the parking lot and strip me in front of my kids and or I shoot them or they shoot me. And it's it's like, what I, what I set all this shit up for? It's like, yeah. so you know what I mean? It's like a catch-22. It's like, you know what I'm saying? If I kill a nigga, I'm going to prison for the rest of my life. Or if a nigga kill me, I'm I'm on Instagram or I'm on YouTube being made of in front of my kids. for the. So it's like, it's a catch-22. The money is the main concern, getting my people out of the struggle is the main concern. Like creating businesses and new opportunities wherever where every opportunity that you get is the main concern. A lot of niggas don't know how to do that. They don't know how to reach the next heights. So me, for us, when I see niggas doing certain shit, I used to be into certain cars and certain shit. I don't be into that shit no more. I don't be into uh, being rich around motherfuckers that's broke. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, no, nah, because they a, get hungry. They get, you know what I'm saying? So. Yeah, Nigga, I be jealous. I play I downplay myself a lot. Like I I make way more money than a lot, but I downplay myself. I be man, I'm broke as a bitch. Okay, what time? Yeah. What time out? Cause I, now you making me transition. Yeah. I won't cause you didn't say the number, so I won't say the number. But it was a hefty the number I heard before. It was just a hefty ass number. But you end up selling your catalog. Yeah. Or licensing, or I don't know how does uh, that. I sold it for a couple of years. But you you get it back though. I get it back in six years. It's about yeah. I, I, the number I heard was crazy. It was some. It was yeah, it was it was probably that what you probably heard. What do what do um what's the benefit of that? Like what what can they do with the music in that moment? Yeah, it's just licensing it however they want to put it out. It keeps streaming. It's really like it's really just giving you advance on your money that you know what I'm saying that they gonna make monthly anyway. So they just gonna yeah. take they just being more patient than you are. You know what I'm saying? Like I just wanted to take the money and just. Create more opportunity. So they give it to you at one time. No, I I I, I did something where I pay myself every six months, so I Ooh. don't spend money all at one time. I got Ooh. a crazy spending habit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Me and Beezy would have been at Sam's every night, going crazy <laughs> on some ass that's not even real. You know yeah, what I'm saying? yeah. So <laughs> it's not even it's not even important for yeah. like I made them pay me every six months. You know what I'm saying? That's for, fire. Yeah. Where you yeah. picked that that mindset up at though? I didn't have that mind for it, uh, my mindset. Um, one of my managers, you know what I'm saying? My manager Neiman, he always, I always say his name because he's one of the people that like I was making money, but when I start fucking with him, I start making money. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Okay. He put me in that mind Your frame. Your money start making money. He yeah. put me in that mind frame where it's like, bro, all right. Um, and he always, as a manager, I ain't had too many people that bring opportunities to me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He was one that brought opportunities to me. Yeah. You know? Like I got this going on. Like I got this going on. Like I got this. So, you yeah. know. No, nah, that's dope. But <laughs> yeah. like I said, we we know you're a businessman. Mm -hmm. Like you said, where did that business mindset? Cause you say you come from the streets. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Jail. Where what was that transition to the streets to business? Or is it all connected? Um, I think for me, I always watch I, I come from a strong family on both sides. Like I, um, my family on We Jamming, you know what I'm saying? Um, oh, real? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. Right down the street, that's my cousin right there in the, in the other room, BZ, you know what I'm saying? That's our family. So. He owns We Jamming. Yeah, so our family on We Jamming, wow. Auntie Paula, you know what I'm saying? Um, we Yeah, so, we you know. Our clip. Yeah. Hey. So, <laughs> you know, shout out to all my family, Matt fam, you know what I'm saying? Marky, uh, my other family, you know what I'm saying? So, um, on the other side of my family, dad's side of my family, I always been hustlers, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. I come from that. Hustling, you know what I'm saying? Grinding out of town. I come from that. Like everybody know me in the city. My daddy was one of the biggest out here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And like niggas know. So I just come from that. Like, but you have to change at some point in time. Every every dollar I used to make, I used to spend it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I never saved because I always knew I had more opportunities ahead. So it's like, yeah, I'm gonna spend this. This ten thousand this club just gave me because I know next Thursday I got another ten thousand yeah. coming. Mm -hmm. Instead of taking that ten thousand and doing something with it, and then you kind of see your money. Now as I get older, I want to see my money. I got yeah. a daughter in college. She go to Mississippi State. Oh, my that's son, fine. my son, we just sent him from Sierra County. He go to Nevada. Okay. Of, I mean, he go to Nevada. So my other son go to West LA. So it's like I'm doing more than what I put out into the net. Like yeah. the net is not. Logical to me, it's not it's not real in the sense that mm -hmm. I don't want everybody to know my business. That's the case. I have cameras around me at the football. I have cameras yeah. around me twenty four seven showing what you what I'm doing. Yeah. If you know, 
then you know. If you, you if you know me, you know I own about six or seven businesses. You know I own two barbershops. Yep. You know I own a web, uh, 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 a warehouse. You know I own my own shoe store. You know I own certain shit, Champ City and, and Inglewood with Leah, my partner. You know I own this type of stuff. You know yeah. I have partnerships with these type of people. You know what I'm saying? You know I own the LA Chiefs, Grind Sports, where we do shoes and, and football accessories. If you know, then you know. As far as me, I always thought like, Using the media and it's not authentic. Yeah, I want I want y'all to be like do your investigation, like how you say you found out about my cat. I want it to be authentic. Like, damn, I heard you. Okay, bro, it's doing something that. Yeah, and then you talk about it because the game now is about you talking about me talking about. It, it's like, oh, you just bragging. Yeah, if you doing your homework and you figuring it out, and and I'm not here, and you like, hold on, I want to give a shout out to this person right here because he's doing. X, Y, and Z. I think that's more important than anything. Yeah. And that's what the game is lacking for is podcasting. Niggas ain't giving their flowers to the niggas that's actually doing it. Like, I actually put niggas through high school and college. Yeah. I don't see too many niggas in the city doing that. They just rapping. Now, you could talk about my nah, music. Nah, you're right. You're right. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? But to that point, and this is where even, like, we used to have a conversation yesterday. I'm like, all right, we got JM coming up. Like, this is going to be huge. I'm like, this is, this is dope, right? But I did not know this side of you honestly yeah. and then i started to like all right let me start doing my research and then i'm like I'm like oh nah bro's like really doing shit that motherfuckers is not doing whatsoever i start looking into the team i start yeah. looking into all these different businesses yeah. and i'm like like honestly you know what i'm saying i didn't realize that you was on that frequency and then when i realized it i said damn like this nigga is low-key dope as fuck you know yeah. this is the type of shit i like yeah. to yeah. talk about yeah. um but I guess my question is like, I don't know, how do you get that out? That, like the stuff that you're doing, how do you get that out if it's not the media? You know what I mean? You that and that's why I was gonna say where's the standpoint where Nip always used to be on I me, mean, like, nigga, you gotta use this. You gotta yeah. use that. You know what I'm saying? You gotta, you gotta see, I always been a stubborn one out of our whole situation. Like me and him used to talk so much. I'm talking about a fifteen hundred and nothing studio on Sentinella for five and six hours, never doing no songs. <laughs> Just talk about business because I've been doing this for a long time. Yeah. And he used to be like, bro, you need to do this X, Y, and Z. You need to have, make sure 92 is there, 92.3 is there, Power 106. Yeah. You need to do it like this. You need to go get an event coordinator and, and do it. I used to be like, man, I'm just going to have a regular pop-up, whoever show up, the homie. Nah, nigga, you need to be doing it like that. That, that was my brother who always tried to help me elevate because mm -hmm. I've always we've been always doing this shit at the same time. Yeah. I've been doing this. 11 years ago, coaching football and doing all this. So he's yeah. been seeing shit. I've been had clothing line 11 years ago. Yeah. So he always been on me like, damn, okay, bro, we on the same thing. We on the same wave. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But like I say, where I come from is another thing, too. It's like a lot of niggas be sympathizing on what's going on. I'm from a real hood that niggas don't like, that niggas hate. So niggas don't give me that same opportunity. Mm. A lot of niggas didn't grow up around Bloods in L.A. That's just a fact. Nah, a lot of niggas right. grew up around more Crips. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so oh, sure. that's just a fact. So niggas say cuh. Niggas say different things. Niggas don't even be Crips, but say cuh. And where I come from, if you was a buster and you said blood, you get the fuck beat out of you. you yeah. know, and you couldn't even be a blood in L.A. where I come from. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, yeah. it was hard to be a blood where I come from yeah. in L.A. When you walk out of your jurisdiction, they right there. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And, and they right there ready for you. It ain't no pass. They gonna <laughs> fuck. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, back, back when we grew up, it wasn't no pass. It wasn't no passes. <laughs> yeah. Check in the wrong high school, they gonna beat your oh, ass on the spot. You gotta call man. the homies. You, you gotta be a powerful individual to be able to move the way that we used to move back in the days. So like, you gotta have family from somewhere. You gotta have friends. Yeah. Like, little bro, you got you, you got luck. You, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, no, but that's so true. But, how did you get in the the? Because I know it's big. I've I've seen it all on social media. Yeah. You selling other jerseys. Yeah. How how did you get in the selling the jerseys? So I'm just gonna break it down for you like this. I always told myself in the penitentiary, nigga, I'm not gonna let no opportunity go to waste. I know a lot of niggas that got opportunities that got fucking ideas in jail and they don't surpass on them. They don't move on them. So I'm like, nigga, what's gonna be the next move? And I'm like, high school jerseys. What you remember about high school? You remember uh, them four years? Yeah. We'd be so happy to get out of high school, but niggas sometimes we'd be like, I wish I can go back. Oh, 100%. Yeah. I, I, mean, I yeah. text the homegirls, I wish I could be a kid. Yeah, a kid. Like, <laughs> I've been texting the homies, like, texting all my homies at Norbon, LA High, like, when we gonna have a big ass picnic? Because I miss those days. I just wish I was a kid again. So oh, yeah. at the end of the do, day, yeah. at the end of the day, um, 
one of my family members came to me and they was like, I was making just regular jerseys. Like, you know what I'm saying? My football name. She was like, can you make a my high school jersey? She didn't know she sparked the idea that I already had. And I'm like, what high school? And she told me. She was like, I'll wear it at the games. And I'm like, all right. Then I made a sample of something. I made her one. And then that shit just was history. I'm like, I'm about to do all these high schools. And then I don't know how I'm going to get them to talk. I'm going to only post certain high schools. Yeah. And I'm going to get them to go crazy in the comments. And that's mm -hmm. exactly what happened. I, I had the whole idea. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So... That demo jersey, fire. Because I went to Jeff. I played football. My son played did too. Played for the demos? I played for the demos. You, you played for the demos. My Come son on, did too. Did not no. play for no demos. Who did it? I didn't? <laughs> when? Did not. I didn't play for the demos? He oh, asked no. you win too. Bro, okay. He my bro, brother. Hey, you get this all the time. No, no. You get this. Bro, I gave you a mic. Hey, man. No, no. I see no pictures, I didn't play for the demos. I don't remember no jerseys, nigga. I played at South Park, bro. I played for the demos. I didn't get scratched like that. I wasn't one of them. My son played for JG. JG? Yeah. My my the coach. My son. You don't even know what JG is. Yeah. I, I haven't been around enough. I can hear no, his my voice. Son, my I, said, I, I graduated from Jeff 20 years One ago. One of my oldest son, Marquise. My 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 oldest son, Marquise. Yeah. He played for Jeff. He left, he left my house, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay. And went back and stayed with his mom and went to Jeff. And he, my son is a dog, you know what I'm saying? So nah, that's what's up. He played for Jeff. He like, he was just fucking up at Jeff. He was just, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He was getting the fights, ain't, all ain't type no, of shit. Ain't nothing else there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You in the low bottoms where it's absolutely. My son a dog, too. Nah, that's what's up. That's my son, Marquise, mode? man. I love him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He he just, that's daddy's boy. Like, he just, he a daddy's kid regardless. Like, you know what I'm saying? He he the, he the, he the kid that I give him the hardest time because it's like, you know, I be worried about him the most because he the type of nigga he ain't going to back down from nothing. nothing. You know, it don't yeah. matter. You know what I'm saying? And that scares me. Nah, you know that, what I'm saying? Uh, That's when, me. When you know what's out here, That scares right. me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I be on him. What party are you going to? Some of your location. Don't do certain shit. You know what I'm saying? Because I know my son. Like, you know, my other son's going to think. He ain't going to be the kid that's going to be thinking. He going to be, man, I don't give a fuck about none of that. Like, yeah. you want to get down, it'll be 30 people. And he don't gang bang. He ain't doing none of that. Yeah. But it's mentality. So I be scared for for shit like that. You know, nah, cause I know what's yeah. gonna happen, what I'm gonna do if somebody fuck with my son. You nah, know 100%. I heard I heard you speak about like, you know, how you'll tell, you know, your kids' mothers, like, yo, let me instill character in yeah, him. Yeah. So what it what it what is it that you're instilling in him? So so for the for the men, for the young men in my family, all my boys, it's like for me, it's like I don't let them niggas get away with nothing. I don't let them niggas live. Like yeah. I be on their ass. I'm that type of father, like. I don't play with them niggas, you know what I'm saying? Because they get everything they want. Yeah. But at the end of the day, nigga, I worked hard to be Joe Moses, nigga. What's y'all? What's y'all outlook? Oh, hundred percent. So yeah. you know, yeah. even even if you're not doing what I'm doing, it's like, nigga, you gotta sometimes you gotta you you don't might not want to run McDonald's, niggas. They leave you McDonald's, but you gotta run this shit to keep this shit going. This is for us. Yeah. How many of our family and sold houses that was for us? Us. Yeah. yeah. That family stayed houses. in the family. Family yeah. houses. That shit has stayed in the family, but it's always greed. Yeah. It's always greed. Yeah. Motherfuckers it's always money. Grandma, grandma leave the house and everybody like, oh, we selling. Now we don't have nothing. You we don't have. have you know what I'm saying? So for me, think about it like this. And I'm gonna get back to that question. Think about it like this. I don't fucking cut hair, but I got two barbershops. Yeah. Why yeah. do I got two barbershops? So you know, I, I might got a cousin that get out of jail. He might want to cut some hair. Nigga, I'm create some for us, like yeah. to leave behind. Like, you know what I'm saying? I don't make no money off of no like, barbershop. Boosting the economy. You know what I'm saying? I'm, job, saying yeah. I'm trying to help. Like jobs. I'm trying to help my people. Yeah. So, uh, you know what I'm saying? If if you get out of if you get out of prison or whatever you obstacle you come across, and like me, I I couldn't get no job. Nigga, my mom was like, you might gotta cut some hair. I'm like. Fuck no. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'd rather sell some dick than go motherfucking. <laughs> You'll be on OnlyFans and I'd, I'd rather get me a bitch and, and pipe her down and get some nah. But like, for instance, it's like for that. Nigga, I don't make no money off that shit, but I created something that's for my people. You know what I'm saying? No, you got a barbershop in like Bellflower, yeah. right? Yeah. I used to get my hair cut, it was a couple years ago, all the time. And like, uh, Boss Dog, he was cutting my hair. Mm -hmm. And he'd be like, yeah, it, like every time I get my hair cut, he bringing you up because it's like you created the opportunity for yeah. everybody to commune in that yeah, barbershop. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. yeah, everything you're saying is like spot on. It's true. Oh, you talking about my little cousin? Yeah. No, yeah. He's yeah. like, yeah. Then he's like, nigga, that's my cousin, nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. saying? And he was like. So when you said boss, though, I'm like, hold on, that's my little cousin. Yeah, but you so, open that up for him. Is it off Laundra? 
No, it's off of uh, 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 it's off of Artesia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Off of Bellflower right Artesia. It's like in the cut. Yeah. Okay, okay. So my cousin Juice, um, he been cutting our hair for about. Bro, Juice been cutting for like. Shout out Juice. Shout out Juice City, yeah. Yeah, so, he got. Yeah, yeah so my cousin been cutting about 12, 13, probably 15 years. Yeah. So, you know, I used to, I used to go get my hair cut from him at other barbershops. That was still like family barbershops and shit, but it, was, it wasn't it was our own. You know what I'm yeah, saying? So yeah. one day I'm like, nigga, you don't want to get your own? He like, yeah, I, I know a shop. And then he called me one day. was like, really? I found a shop. And I'm like, nigga, let's get it. So I got it. You know what I'm saying? Sorry, I didn't man. make a dollar. I don't make a dollar off nothing that he do. That's just my cousin. He one of the most lowest niggas I ever had around me. If I didn't have no money right now, I'd be like, cousin, I need 5,000. He got it. He gonna give it to me. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Re regardless. Like, he the type of cousin be like, like I say, my kids will be there and I'm not even there. They go get their hair cut. Yeah. He ain't calling me like, hey man, you owe me $35 for a mm. I gotta call him days later. I like, oh, I forgot they, the boys came through. How much y'all? Man, man, cuz oh, I got you. That shit ain't nothing. Yeah. That's the type of person he is. Yeah. So yeah. I respect character. I respect loyalty. When I come in a barbershop, I don't have to be there. He's playing Joe Moses. You cannot do nothing <laughs> in that barbershop. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Before we had our own. He's playing. Now play my cousin shit. He a new shipper. So he from That's Long dope. Beach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he yeah, from yeah. Long Beach. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So like I say, I got real friends from Long Beach that me and him got mutual friends that, you know what I'm saying? That's over the years, that's been some of my niggas. Mm -hmm. So I say this to say, he called me and was like, Man, I found one. We found one. We got it. The second one, we found it. We got it again. And That's it's dope. Been, it's been ever since That's then. Fine. Like, you know what I'm saying? And all our family, man, we give jobs too. You know what I mean? For the people that think like, oh man, I ain't trying to cut no hair. That's up to you. I know I know niggas that don't want to do nothing. They don't make no money a day and still complain about niggas that's getting money. Yeah. Oh, how you yeah. make <laughs> how you make often, how you man. make yeah. no money but complaining to a nigga who get that make forty two dollars a, a a day and, and you like oh that shit ain't but you make no money yeah. a day. Yeah. Nah, you right. Niggas will complain about every fucking thing. So I yep. I respect my cousin Juice. It's been a couple of my football coaches that I've get, given jobs to. A couple of my family, like you say, that I've given jobs to. Like but that's I think that's dope, especially coming from our community. Yeah. Most times when people make it or or, or get to a certain status, they like shit. I made it. Y'all gotta figure it out. Yeah. But for you to actually, you know what I'm saying, extend like, businesses and opportunities, just like you talk about, we sell grandma house. Either she worked her ass off, they, you know what I'm saying, her and granddad did everything that they can to hold the house. And when they pass, it's like, all right, we're gonna sell the house. Sell. And then they end up spending the money so fast that. Which is crazy because we'll, they'll split that shit against all the kids. It's like six kids, seven kids. And it's like. Everybody give $30,000 and before you long, exactly. it's gone. No more. It's not, it ain't none of that. So. Back to what you said, how I install, how I install the vision in my kids or the discipline in my kids. I just stay on them and I show them, and I don't lie to them niggas about nothing. If I'm going through it, I'm telling my young niggas, look, I'm going through it right now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Daddy might be in the studio for two weeks and not even talking to you niggas. I need to focus on what I need to focus on. But how I help build and and, and help build young men is for me. It's like I stay on their ass. Like I don't let them get get. I don't let them get away with shit. Nah, I'm not important. letting you get away with that's shit because important. the streets ain't gonna let you get away yeah. with nothing. No, nope. so, I don't give a fuck. So building character in, into boys, it's like getting up, working out every day, taking out the trash. Nigga, I shouldn't ask you to take out the trash. You should just do that because you don't got to ask me to buy your clothes. When I see shit, when I see you got holes in your motherfucking socks, you ain't got to ask me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, when I see your drawers not saying it like that, it's too small. You know what I'm saying? Nah, you Nigga, right. I go buy you new drawers. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, as yeah. a father, you know what I'm saying? Yep. Right. These are my boys. These are my babies. You know what I'm saying? So, for me, it's like, it's easy. Like, you know, like, I tell one of the mothers of my kids, like, um, she'll call me and be like, she used to feel like I was too hard on my son. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Until my son got bigger and she started to understand, like, nah, he need that. And mm -hmm. we got the best relationship. You know what I'm saying? Pretty all the mother of my kids, we got the best relationship. Because I'm honest, there's been plenty of times when, nigga, where I was just figuring it out and I had nothing. And, and the mother of my kid, nigga, you need something? Because we believe, we all believe in the vision. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's been plenty. I'm not afraid to say, nigga, it's been plenty of times where I done took them losses where I'm down 300,000, nigga, and I don't got nothing, nigga. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And it's mm -hmm. like, I gotta get back on. I don't wait, got. Wait. Ain't, ain't gonna be no Christmas. Negative three hundred thousand. I'm I'm down three. I lost three hundred. 
couple of times in the streets. No cap. Ooh. This is no cap. How does that happen though? How you lose? How I mean, I'm a street nigga, so I invested my money into the wrong thing. Got gotcha. you. Yeah. Okay. I'm saying oh, doing the happened. wrong shit. Yeah. And it didn't come back the way that I wanted it to. Want. Yeah. Some shit didn't happen. So at the end of the day, for me, it's like, hey, I'm there ain't no Christmas. And they understand it. It ain't like mm -hmm. a time where it's like, you know, it might be one that's one that's like, oh, well, he ain't. Nah, they understand it because I sent my kids down, hey, daddy, this this what's going on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know what I, I, mean? I think that's the toughest thing for parents is to be truthful with their kids. Mm -hmm. Not the, realizing your kids are going to find out the truth eventually. Yeah. Right. Communicate. And then, and then when they do find out the truth, it's like they shock because they like, damn, the person that I was expecting the truth from, you telling me to be honest, but you ain't honest. Right. Mm -hmm. Communicating with your other too, like... You know what I'm saying? Communic your girl or whoever Communic it is. Communicate with your girl, your, your baby mom, your wife, or anything. Just the communication of, hey, listen, I'm going through some shit. Let me chill out. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to go over here. Let me chill. This this what happened the other day. So this is why I'm going through it. Or, so it's like that communication of going through that shit with the mother and my kids. It's like, hey, listen, right now shit is fucked up. But when it get back cracking, it's going to get back cracking. You know what I'm saying? It's going to yeah. be all type. It's going to be vacations, all type of shit. But... Let me get it back together. You know what I'm saying? And understand that I'm not bluffing you. I'm not bullshitting you with you. I'm fucked up right now. And people, yeah. sometimes that happens. When you're a real nigga, that definitely happens. Oh, we didn't you. took right. When you chasing? When you chasing yeah. it, yeah. nobody will see your vision until it's actually happening. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yep. So for me, it's been a lot of that. It's been a lot of me taking my money and doing different shit, and I'm losing. But I'm learning at the yeah. same time. Yeah. But nobody yeah. can't see that learning for it. He's yeah. spitting. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Nobody, nobody can't see that learning part. They only see the, the losing. And when you lose, and everybody don't want to be around losers. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Nobody yeah. want to be around losers. I, bro, I done been through some shit. And the <laughs> shit, I, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's more than I could even say, but I done been through some shit. And I, I pray to God that the people that's with me right now for... The, the 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 just the just the having my back or just the call like nigga you gonna be all right nigga you know what I'm saying nigga I got a village I gotta raise nigga I got a village I gotta take care of so I can't give up I can't never go outside and give up yeah yeah nigga, I gotta get up every day and be like all right I gotta get to it yeah. nah. I feel as though it's like easier to go through those long ass eighteen hour work days and shit knowing that you got like family and sons at it's, home that you hell, got, still it's fun yeah. okay it's yeah. fun I'm like me I'm always Three o'clock in the morning, if I'm not going to the studio at three o'clock in the morning, I'm doing some shit that got something to do with football. If I'm not doing some shit that got something to do with football, I'm doing some shit that got something to do with high school football. If I'm not doing some shit, I'm doing some shit for my football chapter. I'm setting up games. I'm coaching football. Nigga, I'm watching film to call plays. I call offense on my football teams. Yeah. So, nigga, I'm, I'm, I'm going over. I'm studying film. I do a lot. Like, nigga, yeah. that niggas don't even. I nigga, see. I'm studying film. I'm breaking down film. I'm going over new plays. Nigga, I call the offense for four different teams in my chapter. Damn. Oh, yeah. Six U. I'm the head coach of Six U. I'm the uh, head coach of fucking, I think I gave all my other teams away. But I'm like still like the active, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like yeah, yeah. I'm not the head coach, but I'm the head coach. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to my brother, Brian Flowers. He the head coach of 11U. You know what I'm saying? But me and him, it's me and his team. Shout out to Sir Parker. Me and his team, he the head coach of 12U. Number one, or number two team in California. Number six in the world. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that. It's like That's what's up. Uh, 13U team, my brother Chop. You know what I'm saying? Me and him run that team. And I run the offense on all those teams. Damn. So I got to be over-prepared. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I, every day I have to be studying something. Like, it's not easy, but it's fun. You, you know what I'm saying? You know when I knew you was, like, a different beast? When I heard you talking about, like, you know, obviously you have your football chapter. You have the, the teams and everything like that. Yeah. But then when I realized, and of course you got that slapper. Brr, that yeah. slapper's going crazy. When I realized that you were taking songs that you made and then playing it at the event. The football games. Yeah, yeah, That's why yeah. I was like, oh, no, nah, he gets it. Like, yeah. you understand how to create. Yeah. The, like, you could put a song out and niggas think, like, oh, I put it out. Why nobody rest with it? Like, yeah. no, I'm actively shopping it to the based team. on my assets that I got. And that's when I knew. I was like, oh, no, he's different. So I rebuilt it. I rebuilt the fan base. And I took a football chapter and made it my new fan base. With the kids oh, yeah, in my football dope. chapter. I, 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 hey, I, I'm listening hey, to it, and I'm hey, like, I'm like, yeah, yeah, sure. that's definitely a cheat code. I'm like, uh, nah, this nigga different. Like, you know no, you're right. So, but what I, okay, but here's the thing. This is why I got to give you flowers, bro. And you understand, like, 
I owe you an apology because I didn't realize the type of. I unfollowed you. I was mad at you. For real? Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> telling you. I'm glad we're talking about it. Let's, let's, well, yeah. let's, let me get this off and then we'll talk yeah. about it. Um, because I get a lot of flack. God damn. But what I what, what made me like, damn, it, it, uh, I grew a lot of respect because I'm like, most niggas come out here and they built these online communities and like, I know that it's cool. But one thing that you've done is built a community physical in person in yeah. the in the community yeah. helping these young like as much as I don't want to believe it I played for the demos and I know what that did for me yeah. as a man you yeah. know what I'm saying and, and that's sports and so not only you building a community but you're touching these young boys yeah. like for real for real yeah, which is yeah. important you know what I mean so for me it was basically I think your cousin in the chapter now Aiden yeah that nigga <laughs> Little Aiden. Aiden a beast though right now. Aiden, From what Ali, I've seen. Ali son and my homegirl. Yeah, them, them, them like family to me. You yeah, know yeah, yeah, yeah. My yeah, cousin yeah. Duna playing the, the... I just set. seen him the other day, Duna. probably a couple of, a month ago, yeah. two months ago. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Time. Before, yeah. So his cousin is my cousin. His cousin is okay. married to my cousin. Gotcha. My first cousin. So this, Damn. this is my actual brother. Yeah. Like yeah, we yeah, just yeah. met each other about five years ago. Oh, that's crazy. This is my yeah. actual brother. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, but no, that's our cousin. So I, I for me, um, I was just mad off the, the the information. It's be like when everybody leave me out, I'll be like, damn, like you know what I'm saying. Like it, it, it hurts my feelings sometimes, you know what I'm saying. But there's no feelings in this shit, so yeah. that's why I unfollow. I don't know what happened, but I seen some shit and I'm like, this nigga posts everybody else but Joe Moses. But Joe Moses, you know what I'm saying. So for me, I was sitting there like. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I used to be, same thing with Dejan Paul. It's like, yeah. he used to say certain mixtapes. You know what I'm saying? And I and I fuck with, with whatever Dejan Paul. He think I'm mad at him, but I'm not. You know what I'm saying? I, yeah. Whatever you do to- My brother to, don't fuck with him. Yeah. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't, I don't. <laughs> My brother don't fuck with him. I mean, nah. you got to think, everybody got their niche. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And if we come together more, and it, like I say, them communication- yeah. yeah. Like, I'm talking to you right now. Oh, you, for sure. I would have never even came up here, but I had something to say. Get off my chest. Yeah, yeah, you're right. right. <laughs> I love I it. Right. Do it and sure. we, I appreciate you coming up. You know what I'm saying? Most niggas won't. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So, for me, it's like, I sit back, and I said, I want to go up there and, you know, let him depict my brain or let me talk to him. But also... I seen the way a nigga, I seen the way another podcast try to do you and make you seem like you wasn't from, from the city. Yeah. Make you seem like you wasn't from the valley and your shit is not validated. Yeah. We yeah, just yeah. do that to each other. We do. So I yeah. wanted to come up here and communicate just like I wanted to communicate to Dejan Paul. So if y'all ever came together and really sit down with a, you know what I'm saying? Sit down nah, on each right. other's podcast and really got it off your chest, you'll really be like, all right, this nigga got some knowledge. He got, I got some knowledge. If we bring that knowledge together, we might be able to create something. But I don't want to keep that energy in my heart versus yeah. nobody. No, yeah. you know what I'm right. So I, I want you to take that back. Yeah, you know saying you don't. You know what I'm saying? It's. I really think it's just a communication thing with our own people. No, yeah. I, but I, and I think that's important for the culture. Yeah, for sure. It is. You know what, what I'm saying? Do, what do you think the disconnect is, and like why more niggas don't do? That? Everybody want to be important. Mm -hmm. Yeah, everybody yeah, want that validation. Matter. Everybody want to be important. Just like I want y'all to validate me. Like you know what I'm saying? I feel entitled. Nah, you know what I'm saying? Right. But maybe you just misinformed on who Joe Moses actually is because I ain't did enough interviews. Nah, you, you know right. what I'm saying? Like, so yeah. I got to come give you the knowledge instead of me sitting back. My my manager had to make me like BZ had to man, come on, let's go. I'm like, man, I don't want to go. I don't want to. He's like, nah. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't want to. Uh, you know what I'm saying? But the more of these, the more of these I do, the more people understand me and see no, where, sure. why I'm upset. Okay, I'm frustrated because for the last 15 years or 13, 14 years, I've been putting this shit on my back and I get a little pat on my back. You know what I'm saying? So it's like I don't get the same respect as everybody else doing. What niggas is doing... Now and before, I've been doing that shit. I've been, I've been bringing the city together. This is Joe Moses. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. I, so, so it's like that. What I'd be upset about because the people to. don't acknowledge that. Not the artists. I don't care what artists fuck with me and what artists don't fuck with me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If you fuck with me, you fuck with me. If you don't, because at one point in time, you needed my validation for stamps. Yeah. But you know I, what I'm saying, I, I'm, I'm glad that you are starting to do interviews. So people can hear your intellect. Yeah. Like you said, yeah. hear your understanding of and how long you've been doing this. Yeah. But it's easy with social media to forget about someone mm -hmm. when you don't see them as often. Not nah, facts. You know what I'm saying? So for facts. them to start to see you more on all these different podcasts and you facts. really getting yourself out there, it's like, oh no, we did forget about Joe. Nah, you know what I'm saying? And we did a... forget about all these bangers. Cause you you may hear a song that you ain't heard in a long time. You're like, 
damn, that shit used to hit. Facts. Yeah. So, you yeah. know what I'm saying? For you getting out there, I think that's dope. So yeah. keep doing it. Yeah, I appreciate nah, I, I appreciate the love too. So, you know, like as a grown man, you gotta tell yourself sometimes, man, get about your feelings. Make these people understand why you belong to be here. And I think yeah. that's the most important thing. Making the fans understand why Joe Moses deserves to be here. Like a lot of niggas don't deserve to be here. But that's just me talking. That's just my opinion. You're right. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of people think I don't deserve to be here. A lot of people, when they put me at top, whatever, they be like, take Joe Moses off or woo woo. But that's just how fans are. Like, like I said the other day, a fan came in my in my DMs, like, man, they need to take game off of this picture. You know how they have like the Jesus <laughs> pictures. That's cold. Yeah. And, and I said, wait, wait, hold that's on. That's cold. I'm a big fan of game. Oh, me. And, yeah. and and for any nigga that's not saying that, you are a fucking liar. Oh, you know nah, you're right. Say, nigga, right. that first yeah. that, that album, every album, I'm not gonna just say the first album, the mixtapes, that first album, that beef that he everything that he did and accomplished. Nigga, we are big fans of game. If you nah. say that you're not, you are a fucking hater. Nah, that man right. can really he rap. Fire. He can really rap. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? And it's all love from Joe Moses because he did shit for the culture that a lot of niggas don't know. He yep. did shit for hustle. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. nigga, like, nah. nigga, he took hustle on tour. Nah, he yeah. did. Yeah. yeah. And, and when hustle, wow. we would talk about that. Wow. Yeah. And, yeah. Wow. and when hustle got his, when hustle elevated, nigga, he did the same back for game. Nigga, that was straight love. It, they relationship was straight love. It wasn't no, wasn't no bullshit. It wasn't no, you know what I'm saying? Same thing. Well, me and game, nigga, that nigga done put me on songs, nigga, and I'm like, Nigga, I'm sitting there like, nigga, you just don't know how much, nigga, I am a fan, nigga. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Nah, that's big. You know what I mean? Like, as a homie, yeah, yeah. you a Damu, I'm a Damu, you a Paru. Nigga, I'm a Blood, I'm a Paru, too. It's the same shit. But at the end of the day, nigga, nigga, you the gang. No, yeah. you right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, shit, yeah. I remember Crip, nigga, Blood, nigga, Essays, Asians, Dominic, nigga, Puerto at, Rican. At one time, <laughs> he was the biggest artist in L.A. If you wasn't yeah. saying he that. He brought the West back. No, he did. Cool. If, if you wasn't like, I don't need your love, yeah, yeah. that's when I started loving soulful beats. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of my influence, if you from the L.A. or you from the city, if you from the, a lot of my influence come from that also. G Malone. Come from that also. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. niggas that been putting on before we, you know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, Tiger. Nigga, not saying it like yeah. that. Lime in the coconut. Tiger been doing it. <laughs> yeah, he yeah. been doing nah, it. Tiger, yeah. right, I just want to give a salute because niggas forget how long that nigga had to reinvent it itself every time. Every time you drop an album, you got to okay. reinvent yourself. Yeah, you got to yeah. show the van fans you're a new person. Future taught me that. Yep. The thing about all the artists that came before us that don't give no credit, that don't get no credit, yeah. I'm, I'm the nigga that be loving to give niggas credit. The East Siders, the relatives, nigga corrupt, nigga dash, nigga, um, nigga, nigga the Snoop Dogg. Like it's a lot of artists that come out the city, exhibit. Niggas a lot of artists that come into the city, DJ Quick, that don't get yeah. they just do. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, if it wasn't for these niggas, we wouldn't learn off of these niggas. You know what I'm saying? Yep. So for niggas like me, even, you know, J.O. Felony, Mitchie Slick, certain artists that is not as that big, but Nigga, for, for us, for the city, it's yeah. all we know. Like, nigga, I survived off of that shit. Like, and I'm the type of artist that I always mention shit like that. Like, it don't take, it don't, it, it don't take no time out for you to light one candle and then when that candle burn out, you light the next candle. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. that's that and, and that's what I think the city need more, more love. Like, you know what I'm saying? So that's my job here now is just a big homie. Like, you know what I'm saying? I know niggas be looking at me like. Like, damn, JM mad at me. It's not that I'm mad at you. It's like I always fuck with the artists when they are nothing. Yeah, yeah. bro. You, you're not somebody that you want to be mad at you. <laughs> you're not, that's not a good look. <laughs> I, I, and, but I, it's not saying it like that. It's like I actually fuck with niggas. Before, be, before you was famous, I was watching your shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. before niggas was famous, I this was like, true. I want to do an interview. Like, I, I, this is my, you know what I'm saying? Until something happened, I'm like, oh, I don't fuck with them. But yeah. instead of me saying that, instead of me getting on a phone call, relaying that message, I'll just be in my feelings like, man, I ain't fucking with them niggas. Man, you got to go do that interview. Nah, fuck them niggas. And I create that. And it's like, yeah. nah, nigga, stop creating that. Tell a nigga exactly how you feel and move on from that shit. Yeah. yeah. But that's what I'm glad I'm starting to see. Like, you just talked about the game where I just seen him on a podcast. And I'm yeah. starting to see more L.A. rappers getting on podcasts now. Yeah. But at first, you know what I'm saying, it's the mentality like, man, I don't need that shit. I'm yeah. not doing that shit. Yeah. And it's the LA, you know what I'm saying, we talk about cool, I, I'm not doing that shit. I'm, yeah. I'm good on this. I'm good on that. But just to see us trying to move the culture forward, 
by us getting, you know what I'm saying, seeing rappers and yeah. seeing uh, people from L.A. getting on podcasts, I think that's dope. So for me, it never was like trying to be a cool, it never was a cool thing. I always thought podcasting would land me in jail. Because yeah. niggas <laughs> ask the wrong yeah. wrong questions. Yeah, nah, niggas, you're right. Niggas, niggas want to talk about gangbanging shit, and they want to talk about, okay, well, what's up with this, and what's up with that? Bro, that don't got nothing. I'm not talking about, bro, my first thing when I signed up for gangbanging, don't talk. No yeah. You get in trouble, yeah. don't talk. Niggas making snitching and all that type of shit cool, and the police can't even tell on each other. You know what I'm saying? Y'all yeah. niggas let the police tell y'all to tell on somebody else, and they they have <laughs> they a code. Ain't even they they, they got a code of ethnic. Y'all stupid as a motherfucker. Right. Yeah. When you Why? sign up for certain shit, you're not supposed to do certain shit. Why do you think people are getting on these podcasts doing all that though? Like, what is I mean, the reason? Is it just the attention? I mean, they not they not cut from that same cloth. I'm cut from a same. I'm cut from a different cloth. If you're a rat in the hood, I ain't I ain't fucking with you. If you're a rat on the streets, I ain't fucking with you. If you're a rat. In the industry, I'm not fucking with you, nigga. I'm not doing nothing with you. But I'm I, I'm a different type of nigga. I'm not exposing no... I'm not lying on no niggas on no podcast, talking about niggas as rats, niggas as... Yeah. Niggas, the fans are just go for whatever. You can, yeah. say, you, you can say whatever about a nigga right now. Oh, that nigga, he's this, that nigga, that. And the fans will be like, oh, that nigga is. He 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 yeah. this he that yeah. like and so, they'll start pulling all kind of stuff to it, make it line up to with make it. it look like yeah. it's that. and clipping shit up yeah that's yeah. not that's not where I come from if you don't have paperwork on a nigga yeah nigga you gonna get your head bust you know what I'm nah, saying you're right so that's where I come from if that if you ain't never caught that man doing some bullshit or whatever you are gonna get your ass beat for that you know what I'm saying so you're that's right. what I signed up for a lot of niggas didn't sign up for that a lot of niggas be like oh that's not gang but Bro, if you a game banger, period, I don't give a fuck from any part of the world. Nigga, if you sign up for it, you throw it up, whatever it is, nigga. When you sign up for it, nigga, you got to go by them rules, period, point blank. Mm, 100%. It don't matter how old you get. You can be yep. 100. Mm. Nigga, those rules still apply. Yeah. It's certain shit. I'm not, ain't nobody bigger than the program. Nah. Nigga, 100%. I'm not bigger than the program. Ain't nobody bigger than the program. I might get some money, but nigga, I ain't bigger than the set. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Like, but I ain't doing nothing that's going to... Make the set even feel that way. Nigga, I'm going to uh, make the set right. proud. You know what I'm saying? If it's going to be some hating, then it's just going to look like that. But as far as me doing some bullshit, nigga, I come from, I was raised by gangsters. So at the end of the day, my mama is a gangster. Nigga, my, my mama from East Coast Crip. Nigga, my daddy from Brim. I can't do no bullshit. Nah, you're right. You know what I'm saying? On both sides. And I got love from both sides. Yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I can't go do no bullshit. On this music shit, bro, they, my family going to get on me. Man, that jersey is a crop top. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, that ain't you. You like crop tops is in. Like, like, bro, why you wearing them cut off shirts like that? Why your shorts too small? And they get on me for anything in the world. Like, you know what I'm saying? So talk about that same I, shit. Yeah, I mean, like family, my family don't. They don't give a family, fuck about none family of that. Family will keep yeah. you humble. Wait, so, yeah. what? Um, what do you think, mate? Because I heard you just say it, like you're not bigger than the program. No, nah. and I believe that. And it sounds, I, I believe that. But within that program, what do you think made you? Different in terms of like, nigga, I'm finna go get some money and really go get it. Um, my hood come from money. So my hood, on top of us being one of the most toughest gangs on the west side, nigga. Um, we, my, 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 my big homies got money. They was millionaires. You can look okay. it up. They was millionaires, millionaires. My father was a millionaire. So I ain't, I ain't no slump nigga. I ain't no nigga that's just going to be sitting out here not getting to the bag. It's yeah. just... Niggas be afraid to tell niggas like, "Hey, I'm I'm doing something different." Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Niggas be afraid yeah. to tell their friends, "I'm doing something different." Like we come from a hood that's like majority like gang banging. Them niggas is gang banging. You know what I'm saying. So for me, it's like I be trying to change the patterns. I be trying to if we got football players, man, go play football in front of the front of the gangsters. Hey, man, go play football. Who going to say something to you if you go play football? You can represent the hood, but go play mm. some football. Yeah. Play yeah. basketball, go do that. So a lot of my little cousins that fell victim to our area. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. I be trying to change things. It ain't just me. It's a lot of, lot of homies that be trying to change shit. A lot of big homies that be giving us game. You know what I'm saying? A lot of homies my age that be trying to change shit. You know what I'm saying? We be trying to change shit. I mean, certain niggas going to listen, certain niggas not. You know what I'm saying? Sure. We surround it. So... It's like, you know, damn if you do, damn if you don't. But for me, it was like, nigga, I'm, I got to change for my kids, nigga. I just went to the penitentiary, nigga. And we all been to the penitentiary. Never turning my back on my area because I love my area. I don't got nowhere else to go. 
Yeah. <laughs> I can't, I can't get nobody and go and move yeah. this knee circle. I love this. I love nigga 52nd, nigga. I love 54th, nigga, bad ass, nigga. That's what it is, nigga. But at the end of the day, nigga, I'm a grown man and I gotta take care of responsibility. And responsibility, gangster is taking care of family. That's yeah. gangster. That is. Yeah. How many niggas gonna say, nigga, taking care of my kid every day, nigga? That's gangster. Nah, that is. A lot of niggas is afraid to say, nigga, that's gangster. That's gangster to me. All that other shit, it's not gangster to me no more. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not afraid to say that. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, mm. yeah, damn what I done done, you know what I'm saying? Because, like I say, I represent this section. I'm from this section. But gangsters taking care of family. Yeah. Nah, period. You're right, because like you said, if you go take care of the hood, something happened to you, like you said, they're going to be like, like you said, they're going to put up a couple pictures, forget all about you, but your family going to still be hurt. Niggas going to be trying to crack all the bitches at the funeral. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's exactly. Oh, that's exactly. Uh, niggas going to yeah. be writing, niggas going to be writing a nigga, baby mama DM writing, man, I've been with you alone, cold. liking all the pictures, all that type Later. of shit, all the bitches that come, niggas going to be, I, yes, I know cold. you, I know you, you know what I'm saying, what's up with ooh, ooh. I, man, I, I know how it is. I live a, I, I live a reality life. I don't live no fairy tale. Like I say, but no, ain't no man bigger than a program. As long as you stay and you live by that, you know what I'm saying? And you try to put your niggas in position. You know mm. what I'm saying? I'm a wolf, so you know what I'm saying? I, I I don't I don't collide with other wolves. I run in the packs with them, you know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, I'm a man first. You know what I'm saying? You gotta take care, I gotta take care of my pack. Yeah, yeah. I gotta take care of my pack first, you know what I'm saying? So that's what it is. So for young no, nah, oh, well, shit. So do you feel like it's, like, your obligation since you've seen both sides of it? Like, you was in the pen and yeah. the pen, now you've seen the business side of shit? Like, yeah. It's my obligation to teach one. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's my obligation to give them knowledge. But who really going to really take the knowledge? These niggas is falling. These niggas is throwing themselves away because they want to prove to somebody else. You know what I'm saying? They want to live like the Jones, and at the end of the day, that's not where my life is at. You know what I'm saying? Like, these niggas is trying to live above their means, and everybody is not yeah. in their right mind no, mind, I mean, no more. Yeah. Like, back in the day, we was grinding. You had, to make the hood, you got hustlers, pimps, grinders, dope sellers, kidnap, kick, uh, 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 robbers, jackers, killers, thieves, thugs. You had all different. Wait, wait, wait. What's the difference between hustlers and grinders? You got a, a nigga that can grind, but a nigga can't hustle. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, give you a pack, he can grind it out. <laughs> yeah. he, really, he really not a hustler like oh, that. Oh, yeah, yeah, he yeah, really yeah, gonna, yeah. He really gonna, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah. he'll grind. You see a nigga grind for 365 and don't buy nothing. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, then you got yeah. niggas that's hustling. They really out in the streets hustling. Yeah, they they can it. hustle T-shirts. They sell us T-shirts. They can sell, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that that aura made the section. That made the, that made the mm. turf. You know what I'm saying? Now you got one, one dimension nigga. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? For niggas, if a nigga's flocking, the whole hood gonna the be flocking. The whole flocking, yeah, everybody For flocking. niggas fucking doing scams, the whole hood is gonna be doing scams. Yep. Yeah. Ain't nobody wanna sit in the spot and, and grind it out. Like, th those made the hood. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Those, oh, right. those, you got niggas that sell dope, you got niggas, and it's still niggas that do those certain things, but it's like, Everybody is in another nigga's lane that because it looks good. Everybody's yeah. podcast, they like it's they're doing what? Now. Oh, everybody's wow. podcasting, yeah. Yeah. and it's like, damn, everybody's podcasting. Yeah, when certain niggas was like, oh, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to start doing podcasts. Niggas was looking at that shit like well, that shit ain't nothing. Then it cracked. Then it cracked off, and niggas start showing them checks, and everybody like, shit, nigga, I, I swear to God, talk. my brother AD came to my house. I gave him some shoes, and he was like, nigga, you should do podcasts. And I looked at him so crazy, like little bro, that's for you. <laughs> <laughs> what, 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 you know what I'm saying? What you do, like, you know, it's, it probably ain't, it probably ain't the same respect for me. Yeah. But you do it, and I ain't taking nothing away from what you doing, yeah, yeah, but I ain't yeah, gonna yeah. jump in your lane. I wanna keep what I'm doing. I think I do football, I do all, and that's not everybody lane either. Nah, yeah. right. I might sell, you got niggas that sell weed. You got niggas that sell pounds. You might can't sell pounds, but you can sell ounces, you can sell dubs, you can sell 3.5s. Yeah, yeah but nah, you, you right. got a thousand niggas selling 3.5s because it look good right now. What the fuck are you doing? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. One of my boys sell ounces for a hundred dollars. Now the whole city wanna sell ounces for a hundred dollars. Yeah. Which goes back to your point, which is like, okay, but like what's after podcasting? You're what's, saying, what's next? You what's know what I'm saying? Like you just assuming what's next? hundred uh, percent. So So for the young dude who's trying to make this transition from I'm running the streets. I'm game banging. To I want to get. I want to do more business. What advice do you got for somebody who's hoping to? You know what I'm saying? Because like I am worried about hood politics. You know what I'm saying? And me trying to. You know what I'm saying? Do something different. Yeah. What advice would you have for him? Why do you even gotta be around the hood? 
to be successful. Why do niggas think that they got to be hood? Yeah. You don't have to be hood to be successful. You can be the nigga. I know the nigga, some respectable men that don't gangbang, that don't need the hood for nothing in the world. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to mix yourself with them type of politics. You can be successful by just doing you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I don't know. For rappers and everybody that put themselves in them type of politics, you don't want that shit. Because now everybody feel entitled. Yeah. Yeah. That goes to entitlement. You know what I'm saying? If I never gang bang and I was a successful rapper, who do I owe? Mm. I don't owe no, you know what I'm saying? But now I, I rap. And it's my entitlement, it's my it's my job and my duty to make sure the next homie get on. Yeah. If I don't if I don't have that, it's like, nigga, if I don't game bang, I ain't it's, I ain't fucking with no hood. I ain't, you know what I'm saying? Nigga, I can move in the city. Nigga, I can have three security guards, nigga, and and and, and move. No, nah, you're right. Cause I, I hear I hear this on social media a lot, like where people are like, man, if such and such come to town, they gotta check in. What do you feel about, you know what I'm saying? When you hear people like people gotta go different places and check in. Now, if they gangbang, it's something different. Yeah. If you don't gangbang, what the fuck is you checking into a nigga that's gone? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, because you you Wait, see that even with people that's like gangbangers, yeah. they they be like, oh, this person gotta check in, even though they don't gangbang or nah, nothing. Oh man, listen. Why am I putting myself in somebody else's politics? Nah, you right. True. You're right. I come to the city, just say I come to the city and I'm hanging with the Hoovers. Now the neighborhoods don't like me. I come to the city, I'm hanging with the neighborhoods. Now the Bloods don't like me. I come to the city, hang with the Compton Crips. Now the Pyrus don't like me. I come to the city, hang with the Pyrus. Now the Compton Crips don't like me. I come to the city, hang with the gangsters. Yeah. Now the neighborhood, it's like, why put yourself in that politics? Now if you're from a gang, yeah. you mm-hmm. owe. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You owe the same entitlement that I owe. Mm-hmm. Nigga, I have to do something for the hood. That's, nigga, that's, that's, that's what it is. That's called community. You know what I'm saying? I right. I got to do something for my community. So if you're a rapper that's coming up from my community, I owe you a verse. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, I owe you that love. Now, if you don't gangbang, why put yourself in that bubble? You saying in terms of, like, checking in? Yeah. But isn't there a lot? And, I, again, I, bro, I don't know two shits about most of this shit. But I assume, like, when certain celebrities come, they come and check in. Even if they not gang affiliated, but they come in, they check in for the protection, right? So checking in... For the protection, or I'm I'm a crip and I'm checking in with the crips. Yeah, or I I assume it's like okay, let's just Drake for instance, right? Yeah. I don't I don't know, but Drake come in, he's like, yo, like I got this shit going on with Kendra, whatever. Like I'm gonna check in with whomever, Joe Mo, whoever it is, because when I get there, I need to be safe. Drake didn't used to check in with nobody. Now beefing with Kendrick now is probably something different. I'm gonna come check in with some uh, people. Yeah, okay. Drake didn't come out here. He used to check in with nobody. He used to have parties, and the gangsters used to want to go to their part his parties. Yeah, he used to stay. He's way in Calabasas. Who's yeah. going out there to Calabasas? Nah, right. you know what I'm saying. <laughs> but I, Sorry, I, 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 I heard, like, I heard you a rapper, it. a rapper say that same thing. Like, like if you don't game bang, you go to your, you go to your room, and you, you go to your parties. And you go right back to your room. And you stay there. Yeah. All right, okay. I heard it was schoolboy or something, I think, said that. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah. Why would you be checking in a nigga's goofy if you don't gangbang now? If you a blood and you claiming you from Brim, nigga, you want to check in with us. No, that's yeah. exactly And, and I ain't saying, like, man. checking in, nigga, where a nigga needs something because we don't need nothing. You want to check in with us. You want to fuck with us because when I, when I go to any city, nigga, if I go to New York right now, nigga, the Max is going to be with me. The Brims is going to be with me, nigga. I can go out there by myself, nigga. It's gonna be 40 max surrounding me, nigga, like I'm from New York. If yeah. I go to Florida, nigga, the bluss is gonna be with me. Nigga, if I go to Texas, the bluss is gonna be with me, nigga. I can go by myself, nigga. That's but I'm 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 a blood. I'm checking in with, with my people. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Nah, now, makes sense. I got crip people too that are that are that are, I can check in with that niggas that come fuck with me. Yeah. But you I wanna do that. I wanna see what a love is that. I wanna right. I wanna yeah. introduce myself to different people that's on the same page as me. Now, if I don't gangbang, I don't have to do none of that type of shit. Now, if I do gangbang, if you from neighborhood and you from out of town, nigga, you want to come in and check in with the neighborhoods. You from gangsters, you want to check in with the gangs. You from Hoover, check in with... If you from Pyru, you supposed to check in with the Pyrus. And for the protection of a nigga doing something for you for free, it's not a, it's, it's not nothing to help somebody else out that's something like you. Yeah, nah. yeah. You a power from out of town? 
why don't you want to do something for a power from mm-hmm. out here that's really from out here? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that nah, shit's going to help you and it's going to help them. And it solidifies okay. you at the same time. Exactly. Because a lot of niggas don't even respect out of town gangbanging. Nah, Cuz it's not right. it don't it's not yeah. the same shit. Yeah, so if yeah. you're going to show some love, show some love like that. That's called love. Yeah. And if you do it one time, that don't mean you got to do it two times. And I'm putting that out there to the camera. Yeah. If a nigga do something for you for one time, you don't got to do that two times, three times, four times. Nah, nigga, you take that right there and you elevate with that, especially if it's a big artist. Nigga, Future ain't never had to do no more for Joe Moses, nigga. Yeah. Waka Flocka ain't never had to do no more for Joe Moses, nigga. Mm-hmm. What they've done is enough. Yeah. And, I'm, and, I'm, and I'm grateful for that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Future came to my grandmama house, nigga, on the block and shot nigga back going brazy. He forever got my loyalty. Yeah. Yeah. I don't give a fuck anywhere in the world, nigga. He know. If I got a call, if there's something going on, and some niggas is fucking with Future, that's my problem automatically. Yeah. Because yeah. what you've done for us. Nah, you know what I'm saying? Dope. What Waka Flocka, Gucci Man has done for us. He's forever, I'm forever grateful to you niggas. I'm forever in, in your pocket. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because that's called just realism. A lot of niggas don't have that. A lot of niggas be entitled again, yeah. thinking a nigga supposed to do this, that, this, and the other. It's like, no, nigga. If a nigga looked out for you one time, yeah. take that and elevate with you and help your nigga out. Yeah. If I done verses for all the bloods in the city one time, yeah. you shouldn't ask me again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. You know what I'm saying? You should have took Absolutely. that verse. You should take that verse. But at the same time, I'm not coming in the future unless I'm ready. Yeah. That's my trump card. Why would I come to him and be blowing his phone up? Hey, man, I got this. Man, bro. Hey, bro, I'm ready. Nigga, you know what I'm saying, nigga? I'm ready, nigga. Can, can yeah. you... Are you, you sure? Because right. he's already moving this way. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, you know, I ain't got time for him fucking with you when you want to, you know what I'm saying? Like, no, bro. It comes to a point in time with this music shit where it's like, you got to be ready to go. You got to be ready to shoot your shots. And I understand it because I'm a type of nigga to take breaks. I'm a yeah. type of nigga to be like, oh, I want to be a rapper, nigga, for this four months. And then football coming, I ain't no rapper no more. <laughs> nigga, I got to be a rapper through football season, outside of football yeah. season. And Future is a nigga that's rapping Every day. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, 365, right. he going to the studio. After every club, I ain't never seen him do nothing different. He go to the studio. That make me change my hope, man. Nigga, you trying to go home and fuck with these hoes or, you know what I'm saying, in my past life. Yeah. You trying to do all this with these bitches. Nigga, you need to be going to the studio and working. It's crazy, though, because you'll think... I mean, we assume, right? Because we ain't never known what Future do at the club. But we we see Future and we assume, like, yeah, he definitely fucking no bitches. But that's it's like, my, man, these kids. niggas be grinding. So my kids. That nigga, that nigga go in the studio, nigga, and be in the studio to 6 o'clock in the morning, nigga, and do the same thing over and over. Damn. Each city, each state, no matter where he at. I've been with that nigga all, all around Atlanta. I've been with that nigga Texas. I've been with that nigga in the Bay. Uh, everywhere I went, I watched that nigga get off tour, nigga, in the Bay Area, do a show, nigga, and go straight to his tour bus and go straight to the studio. The vibe, bring the vibes to the studio, but listen, yeah. that nigga, everybody's in there quiet. <laughs> These yeah. niggas ain't having no conversations. Everybody listening to the he working. Everybody listen to the to the to the to the master work, nigga. Yeah, yeah. L- listen, we trying to be future one day, nigga. So we all listen. We all in there amazed. Like ain't nobody in the session talking. Everybody he putting on beat and beat, and they all going. You want to talk, niggas going outside, but during this session, everybody like, yeah, wow, this on a tour bus. Oh, that's so dope, Joe man. Moses. Yeah. Man, listen, too much partying is going on. Yeah. Nigga, why nigga need to be working? You know what I'm saying? Nigga uh, need to stay working. Wait, uh, so so question. And then we'll we can get into the music. I want to talk, I got some towards the music, but so before you transition. Go, go, go. What's the best piece of business advice you've ever received? Nigga, keep working. Stay consistent. Yeah, keep nigga, going. stay consistent. Nigga, keep working. Nigga, like I say, I watch my brother nigga work and the nigga look at me like. I'm looking at him like, God damn, I just watched this nigga go to the club. I just watched this nigga do interviews. I just watched this nigga do a two-hour show. It's like this nigga back at the studio. After we leave the party, he's back at the studio. And he's standing that bitch, and he's working. I'm talking about consistent. He's consistent. He's consistent. Hey, bro, I'm going to the studio. Ty Dolla Sign and another nigga that does that. Rich as a bitch. Still be in the studio like they ain't got no money. What, okay, and that's my question, bro. How do niggas stay up? Is it Red Bull? Like, what's the... I've, I've been off this Adderall, Red... I've been drinking like a Red Bull a day, and I'm like, I'm still tired. God have damn. You, have you played any sports? I play basketball. I play a little bit of football, Okay, for sure. so playing basketball, you can you can stay out all night, but still get up and go to the gym at 8.30 in the morning. Yeah. Yeah. Because that practice, is, yeah. Because and that it, mind frame. That and I'm a... 
And I'm glad you said that because you is 100 percent right. Because I I do believe there there's like this God. It's it's God, right? To where like you can be tired as fuck, but there is a certain level of energy. Like in your mind from you could just tap into it. Yeah. Like energy is infinite. Yeah. But sometimes I I'll be like, nigga. I ain't. So they say when you reach a 60 percent in your body or something like that, or they said you still ain't tapped into everything that you're given. Yeah. You can still give more. Yeah. Damn. You always can give. So more. I know like, I can. I know that I just had this 18 hour day, but I know I probably can go 24 hours and I probably can get up and do that for a couple of days. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? As well, long as I'm drinking right, water, as yeah. long as I'm... But is it like... But I think it was something you Damn. said earlier that you said, like you said, I enjoy it. I get, you You find the excitement in it. And when you rich. And if you... Yeah. <laughs> okay. You make money. It's, it's too successful. Like, when it's like... Because maybe, maybe tell me if it's a difference of like, okay, because somebody right now is grinding and like they 12 hour days, they might be making... 300, 400 a day. Yeah. Versus like, I mean, I'm only going to sleep three hours, but I'm also going to pick up seven, 10 grand from a, is that, does that help? Knowing like, I mean, I'm going to wake up because that's 10 grand. So for me, it's like this week, it's like, you got three $10,000 days. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You and RJ just did 10, hey, you, you $10,000 a show. <laughs> <laughs> you got 10000 tomorrow. You got to show at the strip club, 10000 yeah. Then you got a Friday, another party with RJ, 10,000. You just made 30,000 in three days. I'm excited. Yeah, fuck sleep. Yeah. 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 I'm excited. Sleep. No, nah, you're right. I'm excited. Yeah. So, again, when you're saying you're doing podcasting, what are you here for? Yeah. To make money. You don't know when that shit going to stop. Yeah, I don't right. know when this dump to dumb wave is going to stop. Yeah. yeah. And it's a whole nother new nigga. You got 310 baby coming up. You know what I'm saying? You yeah. got all these young niggas that's coming up. You got OGZ selling out shit. You yeah. got Kaylin for real, for real. You know what I'm saying? You got all these niggas. You got Wally the Sensei. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you right. got all the new artists. You got motherfucking Siete Boy. You got all, yeah. you know what I'm saying? You got motherfucking Khadijah. You got all the artists that I fuck with. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Yellow Boy that I know at one point they want to be in my shoes. Yeah. Uh, you right. I have to stay on top of my game. <laughs> you yeah. do. I have to, even though these are my little brothers, it's still a friendly competition. Like, damn, nigga, I, I want to stay popping too. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. You know right. what I'm saying? So it's for, for future. Niggas respect future because it's like, yeah, all the niggas that come up from the city, but it's like future. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's a big, yeah, no, that's God. A big, for yeah, me, oh God. I yeah. take so many breaks. So some of the artists that I used to, Lil Bro are, they feel they on the same level as me now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Think yeah. about it. Yeah, yeah. Some of the artists yeah. be like, shit, I see some flyers that be going up, nigga. Joe Moses don't even be the headliner. And I be like. <laughs> I'm opening up for a nigga that I once was, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, yeah. nigga, I'm back and I'm working <laughs> every day. Now you niggas going to be in trouble because I'm not going to take no days off. It ain't no day that I'm going to take off. And That's the music going, when I took the breaks and thought I was, and the fans was like, no, nigga, we going to this other nigga right here because he making the same type of music as you and boom, boom, boom. And boom, they boom. more consistent. I see they more face consistent. Every yeah, yeah. I wasn't being consistent. So it's my fault. Now I'm consistent. Now what you going to do? If I drop a mixtape every month, what you gonna do? Oh, uh, yeah. Right. Sure. Nah. Put on niggas' neck. <laughs> nah, that's exactly. I drop a mixtape every, and I feel, I feel I'm always overlooked because my bars is, you know, that's like, my bars is be fucking niggas over. You can go listen to a whole album, really listen to for bar, bar. You be like, and these kids ain't saying what I'm saying, but, you know, no disrespect to them. Yeah, I respect yeah. what they doing. I'm just a grown man and on a whole different level. Uh, I'm in a poly relationship. So we we not the same. I fuck different. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> if, we, if we really want to brag about shit, like I oh, fuck different. My, wait, wait. my my income uh, is way different are you, from y'all. Are you literally in a poly relationship? I'm in a po man, I'm in a poly relationship. Oh, I'm in a poly relationship. So, so, so mine's my, too. It's my type of let me sit up. You know what straight. I'm saying? Like <laughs> so I'm just I'm now, straight, straight, I'm nigga. in the presence of a real nigga. I'm Hold just, up. I'm just speaking from now, let me pop my shit. I'm in a poly relationship. We don't even do the same shit. Our bills is not the same. You know, I got different households. I don't, need, you know, I don't pop my shit like that, but I think I'm JM. So it's like, we ain't the same. We, we a whole lot different. Yeah, you might fuck different bitches, but I'm in a poly relationships with two beautiful women. That know. And that got it locked down. That's together every day. That handle business every day. And I got them making money for themselves. I put them in position on top of them already being hustlers that they they come from hustler families, but I put them in position to make it work and they make it work. First time ever really explaining it like this. Yeah. Pop my shit. 
Yo, bitches don't look like my bitches. You know what I'm saying? My bitches are beautiful. One light, one brown. Intelligent, sexy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You don't fuck the way I fuck. Yeah. Yeah. I live like this every night. I wake up like this every night. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I wake up like this. It's not no two bitches or two random bitches I lay from the club. I don't got to never do nothing again. And we happy. It, it's been like this for a long time. We happy. So at the, yeah, end, we so happy. At the end of the day, it's like, I really pop my shit on niggas. Like, yeah. now I'm back into that space where it's like, nigga, I'm going to smash whoever that think they on the same level as me. Whoever think that I'm going to push forward and it's not going to be that no more. Like, if I really wanted to pop my shit on what I make yeah. and what I do, it's like, nigga, we not in the same league. But a nigga would think that. Nah, you are right. But please do, though. Because, again, what you're doing right now is letting it be known. Like, nah, y'all not finna keep overlooking or you're whatever. Gonna, like, listen. Because you not. have everything it is to be the niggas, like, our legends. Like, you are one of our legends. But it's like, nah, let me make sure that y'all know. Because y'all acting like y'all don't know. Making sure that y'all know I don't know nobody that do what I do. I got the number one football team in, 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 in California. No cap. Niggas know they can't fuck with me, period. I put kids through high school and college. My bitches don't look like y'all bitches. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> my parties don't look like y'all parties. Like, I'm still in the ghetto. I still can pull up with no security, no nothing. Nigga, and pull up in any hood that I want to go to. I can go pull up. I'm, we in Long Beach. I can go pull up in Long Beach right now on both sides with no security, no nothing, with all crips. That's me. Yeah. I can go pull up in my ops. Nigga, that's me. Nigga, and certain mm -hmm. niggas going to fuck with me, certain niggas not. But they know. If you do something to me, it's not going to be a one-day thing. It's going to be, nigga, for the next five or ten years, my niggas going to go. I thought niggas going to say months. No, 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 no. <laughs> say years. Over me, over me the beef will never stop. My niggas going to go. It's going to be, yeah. we, niggas got to ask to do something to me. It ain't no, I ain't one of them young niggas that's just, nigga, the OGs love me from every hood, though. But like you said, look, look at all you do. You know what I'm saying? Look at all you do for the, you know what I'm saying, the youth. You know what I'm saying? You do for the city. Like you said, you... Putting family members on, like, of course, you know what I'm saying? Niggas like, love me. Like, my football chapter is my family. And I got a family outside of my family. It's like, nigga, I got every hood in my football chapter. When we move, you'll think it's bloods. <laughs> and it'd be everybody. Like, he say, his cousin is Duna, 5'9 Hoover. Our hoods is worst enemies. When I move, my cousin move. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. he's married yeah, to my cousin. Yeah, yeah. When I move, wow. he moves. Yeah, yeah, no. Nah, that's, yeah. that's, that's not love. That's not love. He, he, he a real nigga. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> if he see me, he don't give a fuck who in the building. If he see me getting into anybody, he's going to move. Oh, he is. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, and the same thing for him. I'm going to move. Yeah. That's just called family. You know what I'm no, saying? Yeah, so family. I build yeah. my friends turn into my family. So, like I say, I got niggas. Nigga, I got my homies. Nigga, I got bloods. I got Pyrus. I got Compton Crips. Nigga, I got, nigga, 30s. I got 40s, nigga. One of my closest friends is, nigga, nigga, TC, nigga. I, I got niggas in my football chapter that I love. That's my partners. Yeah, My yeah. little cousin, nigga, he from 6-0. Inglewood, niggas. I got, nigga, nigga, I got all type of niggas. When I move, they move. Nah, but that's dope. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's Respect. called unity and family, and a lot of niggas hate that. Yeah. yeah. A lot. I'm looking to the camera. A lot of niggas hate that because they can't be that. Yeah. They can't move the way I move. Back in the day, I was one of the only niggas that was throwing parties with every hood was there. Yeah. yeah. And nothing used to happen. Because mm -hmm. it was off the love. Like, again, how can I act like that in my mama from East Coast? Nah, right. Right. My mama is a crib. My, I got seven aunties that stump down Crips. Still go to hood days, <laughs> wear blue rags on it. I got cousins that's Crips. Yeah. I got Compton Crip cousins. Yeah. I got Paru relatives. They different. They rallies. They cousins. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. So at the end of the day, it's like the love in the city is already created. The narrative is already created. You just move how you move. And it's plenty of times where I done pulled up in niggas' hoods and it was all love because I got gangsters in my family. Yeah. I could pull up on the south side of Compton. I could pull up in the west, west side Pyrus and be sure I got real family from both. Yeah. I could pull up in the track news. I could pull up in the 30s. I could pull up in these certain hoods. I could pull up in the schoolyards. I could pull up in these certain hoods where niggas love me. I could pull up in the Blackstones where they love me. I got family from over there. Real cousin, I take your head off. Mad Mo, he'll shoot you in your fucking face behind me. Yeah. That's just what it is. Yeah. My homies, I got real family from my hood. That's going to go crazy. Yeah. Slag, Lil Mad, like... My little brother, I got little brothers from the hood, baby punch, <laughs> like little punch, big punch, my brothers, like 
Hey, I don't want no smoke. <laughs> I got real homies. Nah, no, my best real. friend, Killer Avenue. My manager, that's my cousin, BZ. That's yeah. my relative. We from the same hood. Yeah. Bro, we come from some shit. And we got family on both sides, so. But that's love. That's like love. That. And to create a football chapter for them to hate on you and say, hey, man, don't go over there. It's all bloods over there. That's all he got is blood, bitches. They, they blood walk with blood babies. Uh, <laughs> blood <Yeah>. babies. <laughs> I'll be watching interviews with people. I'll be like, you can talk down, but these kids love me. You can say whatever you want to say. Say the truth. These kids love for me. And, and, and I want to get into the music. The, the first way I transition out is the, the infamous. Oh, yeah, yeah. That yeah, yeah. came from your football. chapter. Football. Yeah, talk Walking on that. Walking through the football chapter. I got some mamas in my football chapter. Everybody know the LA Chiefs got mamas. Yeah. Our shit look like a big party. Anything yeah. that we doing, it look like a big party. If you came to a game, yeah. you know. It's yeah. all type of mamas, all type of shapes, sizes. Yeah. Beautiful women in the chapter, different races. So, again, us fucking around with some of the parents that I know, some of my homegirls, some of my friends, we fuck around like that. I'm like, damn, she got that brum dum <laughs> <laughs> like you know what I mean like damn she got the that big brum dum you know what I'm saying like yeah. but we this how the coaches we just be fucking around like that but we're talking to our homegirls our friends that we yeah. come up with yeah. they just know random you know what I'm saying but mm -hmm. it's we see some shit we're like oh, okay I see you out there with that brum dum and I'm like I went to the Bay Area one week I think Khadija was on tour and I was out there helping her just get through her tour and um uh, I hit up Olivia. Olivia was like, all right, I'm going to get you studio time. Matter of fact, I took my artist to Empire. Okay. To just take them around the building, just so, you know, took them to Empire, and I got there, and Empire was like, you know, get a studio session. So Olivia, shout out to Olivia from Empire. She set up the whole shit. Um, we went to the studio session before, uh, on an off day, um, and my boy, Stunner Man, came, and Stunner Man brought DJ West Coast. That was his DJ. That was his producer. At the at, at, that's, that's his friend. So they both pulled up, and DJ West Coast had beats. He was just an energetic type of, you know, a nigga. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like a cool, two, two cool individuals. Both them niggas can talk their ass off. Yeah. But them was two niggas that I fuck with from the Bay Area. Stunner Man and DJ West Coast. And DJ West Coast was playing beats. I did like three or four songs. And uh, me and Stunner, we did like two or three songs and shit. And then he played that last beat. And they was like, damn, Joe, you got 10 minutes left in your session. I'm like... He playing the beat, I'm like, oh, let me go knock this out. And I did that shit in like eight minutes. Damn. And that shit a hit. And I did that Damn. shit in eight minutes. That's no cap. I did it in did eight minutes. Did you know it was that? Or? I knew it was that when I sped yeah, it up. I okay. I knew it was that when I sped it up. I kind of yeah. cheated. I kind of listened what tempos niggas was in. And I'm like, no, we got to speed this motherfucker up to the tempo. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Let's get that tempo. Everybody at this tempo right now? All right, let me get to this tempo. So when niggas playing this, they can throw this in. Yeah. I, you know, I've been here for a little bit. Yeah, A lot yeah. of niggas not paying attention to what they trying to do. Nah, that's you know what I'm dope. Saying? So I'm listening to the tempos. I'm like, all right, let me get to that. I got to that. And when I got into that, I'm like, oh, this shit need to come out. It didn't work out in Empire. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was trying to make it work. You know what I'm saying? Um, I hit up. I put it out through Foundation. And um, Foundation hit me up some months back. I was trying to take it back to Empire. I'm like, man, I want to go back to Empire. I want to, I want to, you know, finish my shit off with Olivia. Shout out to Olivia. She always trying to make it work for me. So, um, Imp uh, 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 Foundation was like, why you want to take it back to Empire? Like, we've been trying to hit you to try to put up a budget for an album. Yeah. We want an album. We want 15 songs. Mm. Shout out to Lee, man. Lee came through with a budget and I dropped the album. You know what I'm saying? Like, I let the song go crazy. I let the song go crazy. I was just putting money towards it myself. Yeah. Mm. I didn't ask for no money. So I guess he's seen the way the numbers was doing. He's seeing the way, nigga. And I'm, I'm telling you, Instagram, man, we got to get a better, uh, 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 what they call that? Uh, algorithm. Algorithm, man. Yeah. Like, when our shit is going, they had take us, they had, they had fucking block me off Instagram. I got certain shit I can do. It's like yeah, certain yeah, shit on yeah, Instagram. It's like, what is it here for? Like, I'm promoting yeah. my music. Yeah. They saying it's my content with the ass shaking. That's a crazy. They was blocking my shit. Because you spent was... money with them and that's still, you yeah. be like, damn. Bro, I was I was going like 250,000 um, look, what you call it, with the people seeing your shit yeah, yeah, on yeah, my yeah. hill. Man, I'm getting, I'm talking about my shit going viral every day, girls shaking their ass, and then the kids coming up with dance steps to it. Yeah. So that was perfect for me. No, but the kids is. was doing that, but the women perfect. was shaking ass. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You so I'm sitting there. Yeah. So then you got both crowds, because you got the older crowd, and then you got the kids, oh, and then yeah. you, man. So I'm posting, I'm posting it, and they blocking me. They like putting me out of my Instagram. 
oh, certain viewers can see certain shit, like only your viewers yeah, can see it. Yeah, yeah. So it's stopping, slowing my shit down, slowing my shit down. I, by the time I dropped the video, my shit was still going up a little bit. But it's like, bro, Instagram be fucking shit up, dog. Like at It the do. End of the and it's crazy, because I love, I mean, I feel like Instagram is where... If you pop it on Instagram, you popular and mainstream. Yeah. But it ain't, it, it's, they just be on that nonsense. I can't even. So motherfuckers start dancing to it and yeah. all the models start dancing to it and shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then they start just doing it. And I'm starting the kids just doing videos and dancing to it. They getting 350,000, they up to a million. And I'm like, yeah. this shit viral. Nah, and then is. here you come, all the promoters. Vegas hit me first. Hey man, we want you in Vegas. We got 7,500, we got 10,000 for you. We got. So I'm like, oh, <laughs> oh, okay, here, 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 talk to BZ, yeah, uh, his number, 818, boom, 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 yeah, boom, boom, yeah, or yeah. talk to Crash, boom, 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 boom. Mo, I start getting booked, Arizona, this place, this place, I said, oh, yeah, this song is dead. I, I thought you didn't have management, though. I, I, so my management is the, my, man, like, you know what I'm it's saying? your people. My people that I made managers, like Crash right, yeah. is like head of marketing, but sometimes he does management shit. Gotcha. BZ, no, my, my cousin out there, he mm. just got back out of jail. You know what I'm saying? It's family. So, yeah, that's family. So, got you. Yeah. you know, that's my day got one. You. He gonna be the security. He gonna be everything for it. That's, yeah. that's what you, yeah. You know what I'm saying? It, so it, I, it ain't like manager. It's nigga, we working. But it's like, for me and him, it's like, I would rather him get money than, you know what I'm saying? Some random. Then yeah. I would yeah. rather put him in position and make 20% off of me, everything that I'm doing, than a new nigga, than a random nigga that's, you know what I'm saying? That's just here for the moment. Right. Yeah, He's right. been here forever. So him... Out of jail, that's gonna keep me and him close, and and I, I gotta stay on his ass because he a street nigga like me, so he will yeah. fuck around and venture off and do some other <laughs> shit. Yeah, you but, know what I'm saying. But see, I I give props to you. Know what I'm saying dudes like that. You know what I'm saying who like because they were like, I'm your cousin. I, I should you should just give me money. Nah, but you know what I'm saying for him to be like, nah, okay, I'm gonna roll with you. I'm a, I'm gonna be I'm the manager. I'm gonna do whatever I gotta do yeah. in order for us to continue to grow this. I think that's dope. So you get niggas that get money and lose the vision. Yeah. That nigga's mm. going to get money and bring it back to the vision. Nah, what that's we need what's to do. up. My brother Punch, he's going to get money. We might argue, fight, and do. He get a million dollars right now. He's going to be like, what you need to help this shit grow some more? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You get niggas that get some money and go venture off with other niggas that ain't never helped them or never looked out for them or nothing. Yeah. My niggas get some money. Certain niggas, they going to bring it back to the vision. Yeah. They ain't going to try to start their own record label. You yeah. get some niggas that get some money. Like, if I fall off tomorrow, I expect the niggas that's up under me to keep the NWB shit alive. Yeah. Not start your own shit. Right. Keep it going. Keep you got to keep it going. You got something yeah. that's working. Oh, ASAP Rocky, ASAP Ferg. ASAP. Yeah. Still yeah. keeping the shit going. Nah, you, you right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, fair. I expect y'all niggas to keep it going, but niggas to get an opportunity and be like, nah, I'm starting my own record label. You didn't even let this build. You didn't even let this yeah, brand. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, that's dope. That shit be, it, it be. It like, do, it, I feel you though. Know, I be irked about that a little sometimes because some of the homies like I'm finna do this. I be like, we booming. Yeah. And but you I, you also understand. I mean, I understand like people want to be their own whatever. Fuck it is. all that. And 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 team is is role plays. No, nah, it is. Yeah. Go the successful football niggas is role plays. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Patrick Mahomes won't be shit without that front line. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and uh, most people don't realize that. You know what I'm saying? It takes a team. Everybody look at uh when you talk about Amazon. You know what I'm saying? Oh, this dude's a, a, a billionaire, not knowing that he only owned like he only owned like twelve percent of the company. Yeah, yeah. It was family members and all kind of other stuff yeah, that facts. you know what I'm saying mm -hmm. that, that was a part of it that ended up winning too. Facts. Yeah. I, I think we all wanna we all wanna be like or we view positions and we rank them. It's where it's like yeah. other people. And, and our they don't, culture. It don't matter. Culture, yeah. It's only our culture. In other places, it's just like CEO, gender. It's all, it all go together. If everybody you know winning, man? everybody winning. That's so it. we up under one umbrella. Yeah. We're doing the same shit, but it's the same shit. And we promoting each other. That's the only way shit going to work. Kind of like what Ace Boy Pun and, and AD do. Yeah. And all yep. them niggas, they, they up under one umbrella. You know what I'm saying? But they all doing different podcasts, and but it's up under one umbrella. Yeah, 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 yeah. And we all branching off to do different shit, but up under one umbrella. Yeah. Duna, Duna, yeah. Duno is doing this. AD is doing this. Pun is doing this. Um, who uh uh fucking fucking uh Trail and fucking Smack is doing this. Yeah. But they come together and do this because we all up under one umbrella and For showing sure. the fans that we up under one umbrella. And that's A dope. lot of niggas do not do that, and they are not successful. The niggas that do that. You know what I'm saying? Are gonna be successful. Everybody wanna be their own man until he got to pay for some shit. 
Nah, you right. Yeah, everybody everybody right. want to be the nigga until they got to pay for some shit. <laughs> shit. Everybody want to be the biggest rapper, yeah. but until they got to pay for it themselves. Shit be costly. You know what I'm right. saying? Until oh. you got to pay for studio yeah. time, until you got to pay for a video, and these niggas talking about they want 1500 to 2000 That's just them little videos. Yeah. Think about them big videos where nigga, them budgets is costing money. So everybody want to be the man until they got to pay for some shit. Nigga, get on with your squad, get on with your team, because we all need each other. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just because I'm Joe Moses and I'm up here don't mean I don't need the street niggas down here. Yeah. Right. I need right. you niggas. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not afraid to say, nigga, that's why I always try to build teams. Even when niggas shit on me, yeah. I still try to help you. You know what I'm saying? Like, damn, how you shitting on me and I try to help you. Nah, you know what I'm saying? It, it, people it, it, don't realize it's important. How, even Jesus had a team. Come on. You Ooh. know what I'm saying? And that was that's a that's a bar right like there. You said, it on God. You know what I'm saying? And, and what happened? He probably didn't need nobody. That's I ain't never heard saying? that. Even that's the Jesus new, that's had a new team. album. But, even yeah. Jesus had a team. <laughs> <laughs> that's you know what hard. I'm taking. He probably didn't need anybody, but he realized the importance of a team. A team. You know what I'm saying? Is even important. Going even deeper, you know what I'm saying? So we're not gonna go deeper. And nah, he liked that. He, was, he liked that. He was like, "Yeah, I got one." Off. No, but you know what I'm saying? Even going deeper to religion, even God said, "Father, Son." He could have just said, "I'm doing it myself." Nah, facts. True. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, but yeah. what happens is when it comes to our culture, it's like I'm doing it all by myself. And I want to do it all by myself, and this is why we fail and lose so often as a culture. How many niggas? Listen, I, I listen. How many niggas? I can go back to some shit where I take 20 niggas to the club and I got to go to court. I'm by myself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's cool to be in L.A. shows. Everybody can go to L.A. show, but I got to drive to San Diego, Arizona. Who going to say, AJM, sit back? I know you had a rough night. Nigga, let me drive you out there, nigga, for no cost because I know what you do for us. You get us in the club. You give us bottles. You make our look look good. I met that mm. girl because of you, JM. Mm. I met my baby mama because of you. I was in your spotlight and met these bitches because of you. How many niggas that want to do that? Ch donut. Donut. Yeah. You know, and you know why? <laughs> because niggas are just selfish. And at the end of the day, niggas ain't stand-up niggas. And I'm starting to learn that myself because I go through shit again. It'd be a hundred niggas with me when I want to go to the clubs. Yeah. When I want to go to L.A. clubs. I mean, when I get booked for L.A. clubs. As soon as a nigga drive to San Francisco, how many niggas say I'm driving? How many niggas say, hey, bro, let me, let me, let me, nigga, 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 kick your shoes off, nigga, I got this. It's only a couple. So I'm telling you, stop listening to what the fuck niggas got to say and just do you. Fuck niggas at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? 100%. Like, 100%, fuck these niggas. Do what you need to do. Don't listen to nobody. Nigga, and keep pushing, keep going, because these niggas will have you stagnated. These niggas will make you overthink shit. These niggas will have you hating them. These niggas will have you, nigga, tricking yourself off the streets. These niggas will have you losing your mind because you trying to keep up with the Joneses because they telling you to do all the wrong shit. These niggas will have you in the wrong spots. These niggas will have you beefing over pussy. These yeah. niggas will have you having no money because, nigga, they're draining you. Yeah. At the end of the day, fuck everybody and do you. Don't worry about what no nigga talking about. Nigga, if a nigga say something, nigga stand up on business, and that go for anybody. That go for family that's entitled. That go for friends that's entitled. That go for homies that's entitled. Nigga, if you ain't bringing nothing to the table in 2024, fuck you, fuck off. Period, point blank. That's what I'm standing on. I don't give a fuck about nothing else, nigga. Nothing else. Whatever you want to do, we can do that. If it ain't that serious, leave me the fuck alone. Because at the end of the day, it's my career. You yeah. right. Why are you mad at me for something I'm doing in my life? Nah, you ain't right. Nigga, you're not doing nothing in your life. Yeah, right. <laughs> you ain't even staying loyal to the nigga that's helping you. Nah, you right. With that being said, what do you got coming next? I want to put an album out right now. I just hit the label and told him I'm ready. Another it's album? Up. Yeah, I wanted to put it. When I put the album out, I wanted to put another one out two weeks later. Awesome. And they told me, let that breathe. You know what I'm saying? Because... Another thing, shout out to the team that's getting the YouTube shit together. I was blocked out of my YouTube. I couldn't even, Damn. so I can't even drop videos. Damn. You know what I'm saying? So if you pay attention, I ain't really dropped no videos, and I've shot like six or seven. Damn. So, right. you know, we getting it all together now with the, with the new passcodes and all that type of shit, but it took some time. But I'm ready to drop again. I'm ready to be consistent. I'm ready to drop. I'm ready to drop. RJ drop, I drop, shit. I'm ready to drop again. Drop again. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. Like, nah, nah. I feel like you hot. I feel like LA you Knights hot. is in store right now and niggas ain't even, I ain't really heard too much about it. So I feel like niggas are sleeping on it. So it's like, I got bangers on there. Like, you know what I'm saying? That yeah. I know for sure that's bangers, but 
our ear is just so slow now. You know what I'm saying? Or so fast. Like, yeah, we don't really listen nah. to the music. Yo, I got to nah, get my right. fans back, listen to the music. I got to stay yeah. consistent for a whole year and a half, two years. Yeah, yeah. but that that's smart. So for, for people, you know what I'm saying, who are looking for what your, your music and everything that you got coming, how yeah. can they find you? Shit, Joe Moses on everything. Shit, www.coteest, C-O-T-E-O-U-E-S-T, um, dot co. You know what I'm saying? That's for all. I got music on there. You know what I'm saying? That's my website. But just Joe Moses, everything. Everything Joe Moses. You know what I mean? Everything. Um, Joe Moses, Apple Music. You know what I mean? Go go listen to that shit. Go run the shit up. Go run the new album up, period. Like, I got some. LA like Nights. This. LA Nights is in stores right now, bro. Now, when I say I got back, I took my time on the album. I think I put out a great body of work, 15 songs. Great work, you know what I'm saying? Like great work. Like What's your so, favorite song on the album? Um, seeing shit. It's a seeing song on there called dope. Seeing Shit. You know what I'm saying? So it's a sample on that bitch. So um Seeing Shit, um, Trenches, um, Motion, She the Shit, but Yeah, that's um, <laughs> me and RJ for um jump on it. You know what okay. I'm saying? Um the intro. Man, I, I think I ain't gonna lie. It's a good think, body of work. All I think I think the whole album for me was like a great body of work. To for me it was like, oh yeah, nigga, you back. You can you can poke your chest out because mm -hmm. if it's niggas is really listening to music, they can understand that that shit is a great body of work. Like, and I ain't just saying it just to be saying it. I felt like the album is dope, dope as hell. That's why I put the album out. You know what I'm saying? When you going back on tour? I've been on tour already. Me and RJ been on tour. So okay, we've been on tour with clubs and shit. Um. We just did up, me, him, and um, O3 Greedo did an observatory. Um, me and RJ, we just did Vegas. We just did San Diego. We've been on tour, like, fucking every fucking week. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, but ne next year, exactly, me and him going on tour, and we dropping an album for sure. Together? Yeah. Five oh, breaking news. Yeah. Oh, me. I just that's got the call that. yesterday, like. Oh, that's dope. She let me set that. up the plan. You know what I'm saying? Shout out Lambs. Lambs, like, let me set up the plan with the big venues. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The Novos. The, you know what I'm saying? The Palladiums and shit like that. Yeah. yeah. And then, nigga, both of y'all, let's go crazy. And we dropped the album. We have a body of work behind that. And I was like, all right, that sound right. You know what I'm saying? So until then, I'll probably drop freestyle album. I'll probably drop all that shit. Like, yeah. That's I like what's it. Up. Um, that's lit. I think that's all I got. What I will yeah, say, man, well, I know you have. You got one? Yeah, I got one. What do you feel as though, like, is the difference between now, like, in the rap game now, in comparison to, like, how it was when you was coming up? Like, um, When I was coming up, it wasn't no, it was AIM and shit like that. It was yeah. Terps. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? These niggas got free promotion. Oh, so you and feel I, like it's easier to it's, blow. It's definitely easier if you mm -hmm. be consistent. Some of these niggas don't even understand you got a free promotional tool that you wake up to every morning before niggas brush their teeth, they go to Instagram. Yeah. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So you got free promotion, my nigga. Get your ass up and promote. I see niggas drop an album and then next week they like, they talking about their bitch problems on Instagram when they niggas supposed to be promoting their album every fucking day. Nah, you right. You got free promotion, my nigga, to get new fans every single day and work with them fans. It don't matter if it's 30. It don't matter if it's 50. It don't matter if it's 100. Man, work with them fans until... You start seeing the results. Like start off with a hundred, do these small clubs until you start seeing the results. I think it's way different. The promotional tools that niggas got now. You got Spotify. You got different shit. You didn't have all that shit when I was coming up. Oh you got motherfucking. You got motherfucking um 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 TikTok. You got motherfucking Snapchat. Yeah, you, got you got so, so many different. Yeah. You different. got live streaming. You got so many different. You know what I mean? And all I hear about is niggas complaining. Oh, we making this off of... Well, I remember when we wasn't making none of that. Right. Nah, you right. Nah, for sure. Yeah. So with that being said, though, like, to the point where you was talking about basically how, like, you feel like niggas, like, ears is kind of fast now. You know what yeah, I mean? Like, yeah. With TikTok and Instagram and things of that nature, like, you don't think, like, I don't know, like, albums and songs and shit don't necessarily get the recognition that they deserve Facts. because shit just be coming and going so fast. Facts. Like, Tell me what's the last album y'all really listened to. I'm starting like, to finish. Start to, yeah, I listen, yeah. but do it stick? Woo. I'm going to tell you who album stick Shit. with me. Um, what's the nigga that signed a baby? Rollo? Rollo. Yeah. His album front to back was Rallo. incredible. That was hard. You know what I'm saying? So. From front to back. And I can barely hear, understand what that nigga's saying. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But his album front to back was incredible. Yeah. Uh, 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 Kalen just dropped the album. Yeah, I, I, I listened to that front Help to back. Album, yeah. Who else just dropped? Um, BG Perico. I listened to his Shit. Front to back. 
Who else just dropped? Ty Dolla Sign. He dropped the Vultures one. Yeah. I listen to that shit front to back. Like certain niggas' albums I listen to front to back. You know what I'm saying? Like I have to, like I drive to the Bay Area. I'm listening. We we play Kalen shit. You know what I'm saying? Two or three times to just get a feel of it to see. You know, did, you know what I mean? Get the energy I want, going. I'm, I'm that type of artist though. Yeah. I, I, I actually listen to music. I listen to bars. Like I still listen to Ready or Die. I still listen to mm. All Lies On Me. Classic. Yeah. I, li I still listen to Corrupt Streets Is a Motherfucker. Yeah. I still listen to Juvenile 400 Degrees. Oh man. I still listen to Lil Wayne 500 Degrees or yep. the Hot Boys album. I still listen to Scarface. I still listen to the relative. Like, I'm an artist. Yeah, yeah. no. Yeah, and then I have, a, I have a week where I don't listen to, and I still listen to Mary J. Blige, Keisha Cole, mm -hmm. uh, um, Jagged Edge. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah. I listen to real music. That's, that's, that's you know what I'm saying? Era, so yeah. these, these, these kids these days, they just, you know what I'm saying? They ain't listen to no... They don't yeah. even know who Mary J. Blige is. No, that's yeah, crazy. They, they think she's Monet from uh, Power. Oh, that's all God. That up, for oh, sure. God. But, uh, <laughs> so, like... I know you say you like you take your little hiatuses and shit like when you feel like rapping and when you don't feel like rapping. Yeah. Like, um, what am I trying to ask? Like, when you when you go back into that mode where you feel like okay, like it's time for me to get back in the studio yeah. and really get on my shit. Like, do you typically look for like older music in terms of inspiration, or is it like it just I whatever you feeling? So for me to get back in that inspiration, I listen to all my old albums. Your, I, listen, your my, I listen to my shit because okay, I don't want to yeah. sound like no other nigga. I feel that. Yeah, so. I listen to Future all day, nigga. Nigga, I'm a nigga. You yeah, sound like Future. Nigga. I'm going to sound like my brother. And he going to be like, oh, no, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, I listen to me. Oh, that's you dope. know what I'm saying? I critique me. That's I go back dope. on my old albums and see what I can. You know what I'm saying? Was I, was I in the, nigga, I'm 30-something years old, nigga, and I'm still, nigga, getting played by two and three-year-olds. Like, yeah. I'm back into that mode. Right. Like, I, I can't miss. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm that. back into that mode. You know what I'm saying? The difference is that I'm, I think I want to start doing more and start talking the money talk. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I think artists, we missing that far as the city. They think the city is just gangster, red and yeah. blue, Chuck yeah. Taylors and this. Like business. I, like if, yeah, I want to talk own that. business. That's, I be afraid to lose my crowd sometimes. And I'm telling you, your, your crowd is ready for, for that. But this I, is why they embrace Nipsey just, the way that. they did. Yeah. Because he was, you know what I'm saying? He'll talk some hood shit. But he gonna, he gonna give you that business because hey, people thinking of ways to win. I mean, I got that album going right now. I think so, I'm ready to drop an that, album like that. That's do funny. it. I think oh, like, I think, do I think it. That, like, right. like September, I think I'm ready to drop that type of music yes. right now. Like, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Get back into sure. that. Watch this. Hold on. <laughs> Daddy with my hair. You guys okay? Daddy doing podcasts. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> huh? What's your favorite song? What's your favorite Joe Moses song? <laughs> yeah, let's go. Five years old and two, like that. and, and two. Um, That's your favorite Joe Moses song? Yeah? Okay, when I finish with this podcast, I'm gonna call you back, okay? What's your favorite song, Joel? What? <laughs> <laughs> I thought your favorite song was Fresh Out. No? Not Fresh Out? So I don't even know. Oh, no. What's your other favorite song? Rock Your Hips? Huh? How it go? If you on that Shout out to yeah, them, yeah, man. Yeah. You got my daughters out here talking about Rock Your Hips. Five and three. I love y'all. I'll call y'all back, okay? Bye. But that's dope. Like you say, you it's still play music at the games. You, you know what I'm saying? You, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But to me, I think... That's what a lot of artists don't do. Like I said, but when you when you're ingrained in the community like yeah. the way you are, this is why it's easily accepted yeah. for them to take your music in because yeah. you're not just showing your face because I need your help. Yeah. You there, you know what I'm saying, all the time. It's authentic. That's where you mm -hmm. take your high you know, it's your high is. Yeah. So it's organic, it's authentic. Uh uh, you know what I'm saying? And for me, it's just like moving forward. But like you say, like as as the older I get, the more I need to explain what's going on in my life the correct way, not just getting to the fans, not being ratchet, because my fans want me to be ratchet. Mm -hmm. like, I got to start expressing that business part of me, that business side. And yep. you know what I'm saying? I think I think it's time for, to me, to start showing the growth. Like, you know what I'm saying? A lot of art, a lot of people be like, oh, Joe Moses not growing. He's doing the same thing, consistency. He's doing it. He's being consistent, but he's just doing the same thing. For me, it's just me having fun at this point in my career. No, you know, but I'm done for me. It was still fun. I did something for the city that no other artist do, did. Yeah. 
Yeah. I got them back in the club. I wasn't talking about spinning, spinning the block a thousand times. <laughs> Thank you. you know <laughs> shooting. Thank you. Shooting my own kind. I wasn't oh, talking God. about that. I, I just wanted motherfuckers to feel good. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And one thing that the streets can't never say is like, when it comes to them women, the women fuck with me a lot more than the, than the niggas do. Oh, so I respect that. To all my women. women fans, I respect that. I love y'all. Y'all y'all keep me going. Y'all keep me alive. Y'all running up to me, telling me that my music got you through the day, help you work out. Certain songs got you through your relationships. Man, I love that shit, man. I'm going to keep it going for y'all, but I'm definitely going to elevate in my career where it's time for me to start moving the way I'm supposed to. And that's an L.A. legend. Yeah. Thanks, for, thanks for joining Scotty and Friends. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. We really appreciate your presence. Yeah. Like I said, you know you could be doing a million other things, but you here and join us. No, so I think I think for us interviewing, I think this is probably my best interview in a long time where I got a lot of gems off that needed to be said, a lot of things that need to be said in a positive way. Yeah. No negative, sure. all positive. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So I hope somebody that see this interview understand, uh, you know, to all my new fans, they... They get the 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 real Joe Moses, and they don't get you know what I'm saying from what they hear or whatever. They get the real me. So shout out to y'all for letting me express myself, and you know I can follow my nigga back. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah let's man. go. Ain't no, Wait, ain't, 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 <laughs> before we, what was this? I mean, it wasn't smoke, but what was the? It was because of the lack of maybe support. It was there? the lack of. I thought it was the lack of support. I yeah, thought it was like sense. it was. It, it, yeah, it was a lot of shit going on in the city at times, and niggas was. Posting niggas as far as like all the artists, and it was like, you wasn't included. I wasn't included. I, yeah. I think it was some shit like that where it was like, I wasn't included. I'm like, I think I sent you the eyes or something like nigga in your DM, like, like, oh, nigga, really? Not, yeah. no, no, no JM, like, you know what I'm saying? Some yeah. shit like that, you know what I mean? So, and, and to your point, now that we hear, like, you are 100% correct, and I, you know, old is a crazy word, but yeah, I think that. Not just me, but like we owed you that as a culture yeah. to like put you. You are one of our one of our guys. Yeah. And it's like we need to put you up there and respect that. Not only because of what you've done in the music stuff, but what you're doing in the community yeah. is, is yeah. like I'm telling y'all, niggas are not doing. It. It's a couple dudes that may be touching or whatever, but like niggas is not doing what you're doing. Yeah, I think niggas and just not doing it for that. the camera. You know yeah, what I'm nah. Sure. And I think I'm just doing it organic, and I've been yeah. sitting here for some of my fellow people to be like. Man, fuck all that. He's top because this is what he's doing, and none right. of y'all not doing this. Yeah. And he's doing it without even coming to us saying, I ain't never hitting one in no podcast that pull up to my events and no shit like that, but I need to start. And that's yeah. what I said on my other podcast. I'm like, ain't no real niggas really coming. If y'all see what I'm doing, why y'all ain't hitting me saying, hey, we want to pull up. Like, you yeah. know what I'm saying? And yeah. touch on more of the light so niggas can see you in that different light. Niggas don't know because I ain't reaching out, and it's not I ain't reaching out because I'm, being stubborn, I just feel like I, I want to do it more organic. I want the people to see for themselves and learn about me themselves. Like, I can come and give you the, the gift of gab. You know, a lot of niggas get up here and say a lot of nothing, but they ain't really doing nothing. Yeah. yeah but see, you are. That's why I think it's important. Yeah, facts. For important you to facts. for you to, you know what I'm yeah, saying, facts, to, see right. you to, to do it. Because a lot of people get up here and talk about nothing, but because you have something to talk about. Definitely. Because you got a lot of motion, a lot of things that you're actually doing in the city. People need to hear that so you can get the support you need. Bro, listen, and I know we, we got to end this. The biggest thing I just did recently was Alondra Park granted me funds to do our own field at Alondra Park. So if you're driving past Alondra Park, we got our own football That's field huge. up there. That's huge. Five years, yeah. man, in the making where I've been fucking toy drive giveaways. I've been doing fucking backpacks. I've been doing Halloween fucking everything, Easter egg hunts. I've been doing everything five years that granted me a field for my football chapter. That's so we got huge. our own yeah. field, you know what I'm saying, for the LA That's Chiefs. dope. So I that felt is. like, my nigga, that was like big for me, bro. Like, that was like big for my chapter. I couldn't even tell nobody, bro. I just was sitting back like, my, my, and, and one thing I can say, my chapter, they have, man, here, here go, here go a bottle of champagne. You deserve that for what you do for our kids. We love you. Nah, that's yeah. dope. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. nobody really, I ain't really expecting, you ain't heard no podcast me say this. I'm telling y'all, man, five years in the making, shout out to Tiffany, shout out to everybody at fucking Alondra Park for helping us get our own field at uh, Alondra Park. Nobody has ever done that, you know what I'm saying? Like, besides my boys at Premier that got their own complex and, and Downey. Nobody got their own complex. Nobody got their own. That's you huge. know what I'm saying? That's so, right. like that. that is. So, like, that's out already? 
It's, it's 2024, 2025. When it's when it's finished, we need y'all need to. No, we need to oh, post yeah, about no, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's safe to say that of of the things you've done for the community, yeah. that's probably like the most proud you've that's been of yourself. That's the most. That's one of the biggest. Like I say, all the trophies that we've won go in the office. It don't go home to the the coaches. We are doing it for our part. And yeah. if it wasn't for my sister Tiffany or or my staff, my great staff helping me, you know, build this whole football chapter, my cousin Shay, my president Paco, my mom, my staff Ray, the whole LA Chief staff, Pop Pop, everybody that's in our staff, by all my parents, all my coaches, my nigga from us doing, like I say, toy drive giveaway. We did that shit for years for them people to come say, hey, we're gonna grant y'all uh uh what y'all want. Oh, we think we want to feel. Oh, we're going we gonna to fucking clean up this whole field. We're going to do a new baseball field. We're gonna, this is all for y'all right here. Boom. That's dope. That's Great dope. Commission. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Man, we appreciate you. The culture I appreciate, appreciate you, man. And Sheesh. thank you for dropping by. Appreciate y'all for real, for Easy. real. Easy. Jam, yeah. huh? Yeah. Jam, huh? We out. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it.